Good morning. KSL News Time is 5 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Hockey fever has hit the Beehive State with the news that Utah's getting an NHL team. KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our live team coverage about what happens next. Adam? Amanda, we're hoping to learn a lot more later tonight during a news conference with team owner Ryan Smith. But for now, though, the state is a buzz with the news that the hockey team is coming here. Utah's new goalie, Connor Ingram, told reporters how he feels about coming to Salt Lake City. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I really like Salt Lake City. We stop every year on the on the drive-in, and I had an Airbnb booked, uh, Airbnb booked in Sundance for, for the drive home. So I'm excited for Salt Lake City. Uh, I will miss Arizona, but... I think it's a it's if you're gonna move it's a it's a good place to go. We'll have live coverage here for you on KSL News Radio tonight at five o'clock when that news conference gets underway. And new team owner Ryan Smith says our team could start next season without a new name. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnson is live and continues our team coverage. Peter? Tim, Ryan Smith says he's in no rush to put a name on his new baby, but a few weeks ago he seemed kind of biased toward the Utah Yeti with a killer logo. I thought that was pretty cool actually. That's dope. Yeah. Um, Especially with the U and the Y, they finally come together. Oh! Right? Smith is now telling ESPN the team will be named for Utah and not Salt Lake City. National Hockey League writer Greg Wyshynski teased on X that the name and even the colors could drop as early as today. But if you ask reporter Pierre Lebrun, that could actually take longer and could start the season without a new name for the team. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. The Delta Center will be the hockey team's home next season, and last night a website was created to take $100 deposits for people wanting tickets. In two hours, Ryan Smith posted on social media over 6,000 people put down money to get on that waiting list. By last night, that number was 11,000 wow. deposits. I wonder if this will have an effect on, on youth hockey programs. Adam, if you're still there, is there any speculation about how having an NHL team will affect? The, we do have youth hockey programs in Utah, right? Yeah, we do. Actually, acting manager at the Accord Ice Center in West Valley, uh, Chris Bellator, tells KSL TV youth hockey leagues were already growing in numbers, and he expects those numbers to skyrocket. With hey, I never thought, I'd, I'd, never thought I'd see that. So I'm, I'm excited. Excited to, to see an NHL team coming here. Uh, Bellator grew up playing hockey and now runs the Learn to Play program. And, of course, just reminding all our listeners to stay with us, especially this afternoon when that news conference gets underway and this, the latest coverage on this story as it develops. We'll keep you updated from here all the way until that puck drops at the Delta Center this fall. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. By the way, uh, the Delta Center is all lit up with an NHL logo this morning, and there's a big – you know, the reader board on the front's talking about getting deposits to oh, get your tickets cool. for the fall. All right, let's take a look at our top national stories this hour. Explosions and drones were spotted near an air base in Iran overnight in what appears to be Israel's response to the Iran attack. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge reports from Tel Aviv. It appears at this stage that the Iranian regime is trying to play this down and the Israelis are not trying to own it. And therefore, I think both sides, at the moment at least, are trying to de-escalate, even though we've had this pretty incredible series of strikes potentially overnight. The U.S. Uh, was given advance notice of the strike. In New York, protesters supporting people in Gaza rallied at Columbia University's campus last night after police earlier in the day broke up a tent encampment. Protest organizer Rayed tells ABC News that demonstrators won't be intimidated. We want divestment now from all multinational corporations that work in Israel. We want divestment through all the investments that Columbia University makes. Columbia University's president asked the NYPD to break up the student encampment on campus. First look, traffic. Good morning, Andy Farnsworth. Good morning, Tim. Had flashing lights and flares out on 215 South Belt, heading from I-15 out towards Redwood Road. I still see the flashing lights. I still see the flare. But it's early enough on a Friday morning that at this point there's not a big delay behind it. We'll keep an eye on that, though, if that changes. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The Utah Board of Education is working out the details on a new law that deals with books with objectionable materials. The new law allows books to be removed from schools statewide if that removal is approved by at least three school districts or two districts and five charter schools. As of 
right now, the districts are in charge of what they want to have in their schools, what they don't want to have in sports. There is some overarching guidance on that. However, the LEA is the deciding entity when it comes to whether or not it meets that threshold. Utah Board of Education spokesperson Sharon Turner says as of right now, no books have been removed statewide, and there are still a lot of things the board has to figure out before the law goes into effect on July 1st. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. Boeing says it's going to compensate United Airlines because of all of the problems with the 737 MAX plane. United Airlines says when the Boeing 737 MAX 9 was grounded after that Alaska Airlines door plug flew off, it cost United about $200 million because it couldn't fly those planes. And now it's freezing pilot hiring and modifying plans because of slowed production of the MAX and the delayed certification of the Boeing 737 MAX 10. A new regulatory filing says Boeing will compensate United for the fi- financial damages in the form of credits on the purchase of future Boeing airplanes. Alex Stone, EBC News. The co-founder of the Allman Brothers has died at age 80. Dickie Betts played lead guitar for the Allman Brothers band and also wrote and sang lead on some of their biggest hits. Including their only top 10, Ramblin' Man. He co-founded the band in 1969 with brothers Dwayne and Greg Allman, and the group, known for their southern fried jams, would eventually get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. But drugs and alcohol caused rifts in the group. There were a couple of splits, and Betts was officially booted in 2000. We're told he died at his home in Florida, surrounded by family. Dickie Betts was 80 years old. Jason Anenson, ABC News. Man, that song takes me back. Everybody sings along when that comes oh, up. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, when you uh, hear some of the stories of <laughs> the Allman Brothers and all of these bands back in the day on the road, you're amazed anybody lived to oh, be I, 80 I years am. old. <laughs> I truly am. <laughs> uh, you came in earlier than I did. Did you see that accident no. uh, on uh, I-215 Andy I was did. talking about? No. Uh, car banged up pretty bad. Looked like it uh, met the... A barrier there in the middle. We'll see if we can get the latest on that for you when we check traffic and weather together next. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies because when people don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from, they can truly thrive like Marta. And now we'll hear from our class valedictorian, who with our hard work never ceases to amaze us. Please welcome Marta Moreno. And Alex. Hey Alex, how did the interview go? I did it, I got the job, I can't believe it. I knew it, let's meet up later to celebrate. And Diego. Mom! I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Feedingamerica.org slash act now. A public service announcement brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Utah's strong winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Your roof might need repair. Don't wait for a disaster. Call the Masters at Master Roofing for an honest inspection at 801-383-0072. Specializing in small repairs, Master Roofing handles everything from patching holes to full roof replacements. Schedule your free assessment at masterroofingutah.com. KSL News Time now is uh, 509. Time for a look at traffic and weather together. We head over to the traffic center. I did pass that accident. It was one car that uh, looked like it got tangled with the barrier in the middle there on I-215, Andy. It seems like a lot of the crashes we've had this week have been single car ones into the barriers. The good news is, is that uh, as you head from Redwood over to I-15, it does look like they've got the flares put out and the emergency vehicles have left the scene. It looks like everybody's using all lanes now. North 15 looks great from Draper to Salt Lake. Haven't had any slow spots show up just yet. Heather? No slowing in Weber and Davis counties as well, and no accidents reported on city streets or the major freeways. So whether you're north, south, east, and west on a freeway or a city street, you're going to be fine. 
Eric. I-15 looks great in Utah County. You're at a normal pace over dry roads. 24-minute drive from Spanish Fork to Point of the Mountain. The major feeders over to the freeway looking good as well. Don't miss the Bedrock Quartz bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertop sinks and more. Visit BedrockQuartz.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Hey, five degrees warmer today with highs in the mid-60s and mostly cloudy skies. Overnight, we're going 43, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, 70, partly cloudy skies, but up to 75 by Sunday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Let's see where we start the morning. A little bit warmer than it was yesterday, but not by much. 43 now in Salt Lake. They have 12 jurors now in the case against uh, former President Trump. They need six alternates. Mm -hmm. We'll talk with an ABC reporter who's been in the courtroom all week and get his, uh, his perceptions of what's happened. There was so much controversy over two of the jurors leaving the jury after they well, were seated. Well, there's controversy over one that got seated yesterday. And uh, I just, this is a tough situation because, there, let's face it, there's nobody you're going to put on that jury that doesn't know Donald Trump. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, doesn't know him personally, yeah. but certainly knows whatever news coverage right. they've been getting on you, it. And you just have to find people who are able to put their feelings aside. Which all would say at yes. the end of their comments. Right, unless yeah. they didn't want to be on the jury. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it because it is an interesting situation for sure. Uh, that's coming up next, streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24-7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, order history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain teen shingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now that's what I call a spring cleanup. Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step -step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric. Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes. You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. KSL News Time, 515. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Ryan Smith is taking his time to name his new hockey team, which could start next season without a nickname. 
I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, the Utah Board of Education is working out the details on a new law that deals with books with objectionable material. Third, it's traffic and weather together. So far, our freeway is looking good now that the crash has been cleaned up on 215 South Belt. If you're heading into the canyons, they're all dry and open and no issues. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds are rolling in today. We'll call it mostly cloudy and 64. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Israel retaliates after saying for days it would decide where and how to respond to Iran's airstrike last weekend. Overnight, there were strikes near a military base and nuclear facility in central Iran. ABC's Tom Sufi Burge is in Tel Aviv. What we can say for sure is there were explosions near Isfahan, that city in central Iran. We know that there is an Iranian military base in that vicinity. We can't comment at this stage definitively on what damage the strike could have caused. We can't really comment, I think, definitively on what method might have been used by Israel in that attack. At the moment, there are unconfirmed reports that drones could have been used in that attack. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Italy for a meeting of the G7 nations the price of oil shooting up overnight following word of the strike. In another region of the world, Ukraine claims to have shot down a Russian strategic bomber. Moscow says the plane crashed due to a mechanical malfunction. In New York, a jury has now been seated in Donald Trump's hush money trial. ABC's Aaron Katursky is outside New York criminal court. As Trump looked on, prosecutors warning some of the witnesses have what you might consider some baggage, taking them off one by one. A tabloid publisher, a porn star, and a former lawyer for Trump who has pleaded guilty to other crimes. Will you keep an open mind, the prosecutor asked. At the end of the day, a rush of activity. Seven new jurors seated. The judge declaring, we have our jury. Today, Let's go in depth here on those 12 jurors officially seated now in uh, Donald Trump's hush money trial. Joining us live is Peter Haralambus uh, from ABC News Investigative Unit. They need six more alternates, right, Peter? Yeah, so today at this point, we have the 12 actual jurors who will sit in judgment of the former president. We just need to find uh, the, the total of six alternates. So we have one, so we're just seeking five more before we can hear opening statements. The judge thinks he might be able to hear those as early as Monday in the case. Katursky was just talking about the challenge of this and the baggage that some of them bring with them. And Amanda and I were having a conversation a second ago on the air about how difficult and how unique this trial must be because everybody certainly knows who Donald Trump is, right? Oh, yeah. And we began to see some of those issues just yesterday. At the start of the day, even though we did end up with 12 jurors, uh, we lost two, um, largely stemming from, well, one of them explicitly mentioned concerns about the publicity in the case, uh, stemming from the former president um, and her, the impact on her impartiality, um, in addition to the fact that the witnesses in the case and the subject, the defendant here, is just so universally well known. Do any of the jurors or have, have any of the potential jurors expressed concern about the effect on their lives going forward since I think the jurors' information, at least after the trial, is public? Yeah, I mean, so of those two jurors that we actually lost uh, yesterday, an oncology nurse who expressed concerns about her impartiality, and a uh, grandfather who prosecutors raised concerns about might have been arrested in the 1990s and he didn't disclose it. Um, both of those explicitly raised concerns about the amount of uh, information that was out there about them publicly. Um, one of them even suggested that friends and family were able to figure out that it was her pretty immediately uh, that was seated in the jury. Um, and when you actually look at the, the two different batches of 96 New Yorkers, who reported for jury duty, more than half of them dismissed, excused themselves immediately, either due to logistical issues with this trial or the fact that they don't think they're right, the right fit for this trial of a former president. Yeah, let's so, fa- yeah. I, I was just going to yeah, say, go. let, let's face it, no matter how they rule on this case, uh, somebody, half the population yeah. out there is going to think it was the wrong way. Yeah, and uh, I mean, at this point, their names have been uh, kept anonymous, um, but you know, uh, um, the judge had to explicitly tell the media yesterday to use, quote, common sense when it came to writing about these jurors, um, because, you know, based on some of the information from their questionnaire, for example, their place of work, where they're from, where they live, um, there's a really obvious concern at this point that based on that information, even if you don't have their name, uh, you could track down some of these people and that could put them in harm's way. Is there a certain is there anything in common between these, th- I guess, 13 individuals now that you're seeing, Peter? 
You know, generally speaking, um, they come from a few different walks of life and professions. It seems as though uh, on net they're more educated than your average set of New Yorkers. Uh, we have a bunch of advanced degrees. We have two lawyers. Um, there are a few, uh, a few of these jurors who actually, uh, you know, when asked about it, have said that they have strong negative opinions of the former president. For example, there's a speech therapist who said she doesn't agree with a lot of his politics. There was a woman in product development who said she doesn't like Trump's personality or how he presents himself in public. You know, there are people on the other side of that spectrum. For example, there's a school teacher who said she admires the way Trump speaks her mind. Um, but this is a pretty unique and uh, representative cross-section of the borough of Manhattan that's going to sit in judgment of the former president. One of those jurors, number 11, said he just seems very selfish and self-serving, so I don't really appreciate that in my public servant, not my cup of tea. And the judge says, you're juror number 11. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't happen but, in another case, would it? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, at least I think so, Peter, because it's not based on their opinion. It's based on their basing their decision on the evidence, right? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, despite what these people said about the former president, they all vowed they could put that aside and be fair jurors. But to that juror in 11 point, it was kind of astounding to be watching that in court and seeing basically the former president essentially getting roasted by this juror. Uh, and there was another juror who said similar things about her negative thoughts. It prompted, though, two other men to speak up and speak of their admiration of the former president. One of the juror, potential jurors, now neither of these two guys made it on the final jury, uh, spoke about how he respects Donald Trump for restoring an ice skating rink in Central Park. Uh, another one who was an entrepreneur said he admires Donald Trump's entrepreneurial spirit and the way he gets stuff done. Mm. So Donald Trump was sitting there with his arms crossed watching as some jurors defended him, some jurors attacked his character. Mm. Uh, it's not something you normally see around the former president. Wow. Part of me is envious that you're sitting there getting to watch all yeah. of this, but we appreciate you sharing some of your experiences, Peter. Thank you. We'll look forward to more reports. That's Peter Haralambus, ABC News Investigative Unit, Manhattan Criminal Courthouse. Let's get a look at traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Things looking pretty good this morning. No more, no crashes to report right now. All clear coming out of Tooele County along I-80. The west side city streets still uh, sleepy. Not very many people on them yet. Heather? Much the same up north. Very light traffic flow right now. Southbound I-15 from Ogden to Salt Lake. That's less than 30 minutes. You also have good speeds on I-84 through the mountains to and from Morgan. And no problems on your city streets right now. Eric? And heading out to the Wasatch back. Uh, I-80 through Parley's Canyon looks good. So does US-189 through Provo Canyon and uh, uh, from Heber City to Park City if you're northbound on US-40. Uh, no problems right now. I-15 Utah County likewise, you got uh, no impediments to the drive. Studies show being in nature improves your mental and physical health. Can't get out of the city? Take a nature break at Tracy Aviary in Liberty Park. More information and tickets at tracyaviary.org. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 forecast has nothing but 60s and 70s it's smooth sailing folks 64 today the change to the forecast today is we're going to add clouds we'll go mostly cloudy through the afternoon 70 tomorrow partly cloudy sunday looks great 75 partly cloudy skies into monday looks like a dry cool front mostly sunny 69 not bad 76 on tuesday partly cloudy we keep that sunshine with a couple of clouds on Wednesday, high of 78. 71 mostly cloudy by Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 downtown. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. David Dejanovic are headed to Payson this morning for their show. They're going to be at Payson High School, where I think uh, we have a reporter who's down there, too, who's going to be talking to us this yep. morning. Uh, because, of course, Kevin Bacon's coming this weekend for the prom. I don't know if Kevin Bacon will be there today or not. He may be. We know he's going to be there tomorrow night for the prom before they tear down that school and build a beautiful new high school. <clears throat> It'll be the biggest thing to happen since Footloose was filmed there, for sure. Uh, and we'll look forward to the broadcast today. That's going to be fun. Coming up, we'll check Money News, see how the markets are getting started on this Friday morning. Use the code LOCALVIP for early access to performances like the music of Whitney Houston and Hamilton's Leslie Odom Jr. at Utah Symphony's Deer Valley Music Festival.
Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off! Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. The Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. It's easy to think all money managers are pretty much the same, but at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different? How? You sell high commission investment products, right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope. Never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No. We have one transparent management fee, structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Utah's gas prices are well above average today. We're sitting around $3.96 a gallon, while the country is at $3.68. Netflix gained another 9.3 million subscribers to start the year, despite subscribers feeling less than enthusiastic about the password crackdown. Starbucks is going green, kind of. The company announced that their plastic single-use cups will contain up to 20% less plastic. The coffee company says their plastic cups make up 75% of sales in the U.S. The new cups are part of their goal to cut waste in half by 2030. All right, let's take a look at the futures. And uh, as has been the case most mornings for a while now, we're uh, starting in the wrong direction. The Dow's down about 79. That's two-tenths of a percent. The S&P is off 20, and the NASDAQ is down a little over 100 points, six-tenths of a percent so far. How are you feeling on this Friday, Tim? Well, <laughs> you know, I went out late last night. <laughs> Tim, was hit, he was out of the town. Yeah, and we, we've had these conversations between us before. When you work this uh, shift, yeah. you just, from time to time, have to say, you know what, I know I'm not going to get any sleep yeah. tonight, but I'm going to the kids' recital, or, or I'm going to go watch a movie. Last night we had friends that had tickets to go see Bob Marley, and I, I said Bob Marley didn't yeah. he die a long time ago? Yeah. Reggae singer? No, there's Bob Marley, a comedian, and he was at Wise Guys out by us at uh, Jordan Landing. Yeah, hilarious. Was it awesome? And what ends up being a benefit is the laughter. Yes. Oh, yes, Tim. Yes, the laughter is just healing. Laughter makes me feel better today than sleep. Oh, that's fantastic. If that makes sense. Oh, it does. It absolutely does. So. Yeah, I only got about four and a half hours sleep, but I feel pretty good. That's awesome. And I have to thank Bob Marley for that, which sounds like I was sitting up all night listening to reggae, but I wasn't. I love that. I hope everybody else is off to a good morning. Looks like the commute is good. We'll check traffic and weather together next. We all know what UV rays can do to our skin, but they can also do damage to your car. Keep that from happening with 303 Protectant. 303 Protectant keeps the sun's harmful rays from causing fading and cracking in rubber, plastic, or vinyl surfaces. From the dashboard to the tires, 303 Protectant keeps your car looking new longer. Get 303 Protectant today at AutoZone. Visit 303radio.com for more information. As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24-7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, order history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain teen shingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now that's what I call a spring cleanup. Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries. Before pace and high comes down. There is a time to every purpose under heaven. The balloons and crepe paper go up one last time. There is a time to dance. Kevin Bacon returns to pace and high school. Dave and Debbie are live for Bacon to Payson today at 9 on KSL News Radio. 
The movie show today is at Minky Couture in Layton from 10 to 1. Check out all the new spring styles in time for Mother's Day. Visit MinkyCouture.com. 529 traffic and weather together this morning is brought to you by Sinclair's uh, Dino Pay app where you can save up to 20 cents a gallon. Let's go to Andy Farnsworth. Well, so far, Tim, it's a nice drive on our freeways through Salt Lake County, I-15, 215, and so far the 21st South Freeway. I am seeing a little more traffic now on Bangor in the West Valley portion up near 21st South, but I uh, don't see anything on Mountain View or Redwood Road that should slow you down. Heather? We had a little bit of congestion on Washington Boulevard about five minutes ago, right around 36th Street. That has eased up for now, so that could have just been a long light. You have good speeds, though, if you're hopping onto I-15 north or southbound going to Idaho border or into downtown Salt Lake and no delays getting to the airport using Legacy or the West Side Belt. Eric. Along the 215 East Belt looks good from 6200 South. That's Knudsen's Corner up past Mount Olympus to the mouth of Parley's Canyon. If you continue north on Foothill Drive, you've got good movement as well going up to the University of Utah. Down Utah County, I-15, no problems from Provo northbound to Lehigh. When you choose Performance Automotive and Bountiful, you're choosing convenience with four dealers' inventory. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota, and Truck Country. All in one place, PerformanceBountiful.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. 64 today, 70 tomorrow, 75 on Sunday. Right now, partly cloudy and 43 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time now, 5.30. KSL's top story this hour. Professional hockey in Utah could have some benefits for when we likely host the 2034 Olympics. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with details. Adam? Amanda, Utah's Olympic Bid Committee President and CEO Fraser Bullock says having an NHL team could have a multi-million dollar impact on ticket sales in 2034, whether that's an update to the Delta Center seating or a new arena for hockey and the Utah Jazz in the downtown area. Bullock tells the Deseret News whether or not that new arena gets built, the new team gives us another alternative in terms of where things are hosted and just how we organize things. The Delta Center is slated to host a figure skating and short track speed skating events in 34. The Maverick Center is also expected to play a host role again uh, in when the Olympics likely return in a decade. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman gave an interview to the NHL Network last night, and it was announced uh, after it was announced that Utah was getting the team. Here's a portion of that interview. The goal was to preserve hockey to the extent we could in Arizona and establish a new franchise in Utah. So the Coyotes are going to be inactive mm -hmm. um, with the right to reactivate when a new building is built within the next five years and the players and hockey operations are going to be shifted to Utah and Ryan Smith and his partners are going to own and operate that and the team will play in the Delta Center. Right. And that's the key. It's the establishment of a new franchise. It's not a relocation. It's not an expansion team. Essentially, that's the way it goes. It, it's really kind of a hybrid because we're not, we're taking a pause in Arizona so that we can get a new building there. But what, what really was underlying all of this was what we thought was going to be a temporary facility, meaning mullet and thank you to ASU for sharing the facility with us. Uh, we were looking under a best case of another three to five years. It wasn't appropriate for the league. It's not a major league building and it wasn't fair to the players. Bettman says it should take two summers to make adjustments to the Delta Center to make it a 17,000 unobstructed uh, seat uh, after renovations. He says this fall there will be around 12,000 un unobstructed seats available. Two of Utah's congressmen are pushing a bill they hope will block undocumented immigrants from boarding planes. KS on his radio's Peter Johnston is live with the story. Peter? Amanda, Utah Congressman Burgess Owens has introduced a bill to stop commercial flights from letting immigrants on planes using only their immigration documents. Senator Mike Lee already has a companion bill in the Senate, and he says it's targeting a new app. If you're an illegal immigrant under the Biden administration, all you have to do is pull out the CBP-1 app. It's an app that they created. It doesn't prove who they are. It just says you can board the airplane. On the other hand, Washington Senator Patty Murray argued the app actually protects the United States. Using this app improves security because it provides CPP with advance notice of who's arriving and those individuals have already passed security checks. This bill would shut down the app as a valid way to come to United States port of entry. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. 
We have some breaking news on KSL. Just a moment ago, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was asked about Israel's attack overnight against a military base in Iran. I'm not going to speak to that except to say that the United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Uh, what we're focused on, what the G7 is focused on, and again, it's reflected in our statement and in our conversation, is our work to de-escalate uh, tensions, um, to de-escalate from any potential conflict. Uh, you saw Israel on the receiving end of an unprecedented attack, um, but our focus has been on, of course, making sure that Israel can effectively defend itself, but also de-escalating tensions, uh, avoiding uh, conflict, uh, and that remains our focus. Um, again, I'm not going to speak to anything other than to say we were not involved in any offensive operations. That is Secretary Blinken just moments ago in Capri, Italy. First look traffic now takes us over to you, Andy. Amanda, travel through the valley, still in good shape on I-15. If you're going into Parley's Canyon, traffic gets a little heavy going up the eastbound direction towards Park City as you get up near the summit. But everything else with uh, great road conditions this morning is moving really nicely. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Parts of the Jordan River Trail are closed due to already high water levels. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with that story. Michael? Tim, our snowpack is sitting at 130% of normal, and Utah Lake is at a level where it can't store any more water, meaning the gates are open and water is flowing into the Jordan River. Along with this, county officials tell the Salt Lake Tribune that peaks flows along the river's tributaries will become sooner, will, uh, will be overflowing sooner than normal as usual. Yeah, ideally, as things warm up, we'll see warmer days get checked by cooler days so snow doesn't melt all at once. Still, officials say be careful and keep kids and pets away from any waterfronts along the river as the snow melts. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Could an ultrasound help cure addictions? A team of researchers at the U of U thinks so. Professor of Psychiatry at Huntsman Mental Health Institute, Dr. Brian Mickey, says by using an ultrasound machine on a patient's brain, they can target the addiction pathways. We're kind of going to the source of the problem, which are these deep brain circuits that we know are involved in addiction. And the research team was awarded over $2 million in funding to further their work by the global health nonprofit organization Welcome Leap. It is Friday, so uh, we always look for some fun things to talk about. But Kevin Bacon is on his way to attend the prom at Payson High School this weekend. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is in Payson for us this morning. As you can imagine, the sheer amount of work and coordination leading up to Kevin Bacon's arrival has been huge. One of the main things that we've been doing is trying to coordinate all of the volunteers. We've had such a huge outpouring of volunteer support and community support for this event. It's been really kind of overwhelming for all of us. That was student council advisor Jenny Staley at the school where the actor's character, Ren McCormack, attended. Staley admitted to receiving over 1,000 requests to volunteer and that it's taking an army to prepare. You know, I just really would like to thank everybody that has sent us good wishes. No doubt this will be the most poppin' weekend Payson will have all year. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. It's going to be fun today for sure. <laughs> yes. yeah, we'll be hearing this today. Already feeling it. Uh, we have normal travel times from Provo to Ogden on all the major roads, but we'll check at traffic and weather together coming up next. Reliability, steadiness, trusted voices. I'll listen to KSL in the morning. I use it to find my weather, to find my traffic. When you ask me what news is, I think of KSL first. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. Discover the best of senior living at Trio Orem and Trio South Ogden. Today's older adults aren't wrapping up their life's journey. They're seeking a new one. And Trio Independent Living is here to help them do just that. With a smart, modern, and connected lifestyle, residents cultivate relationships and maximize independence through signature programs like Prime Fit Wellness that bring living well and well-being to life. Welcome to the new age of senior living. Schedule your visit at leisurecare.com slash Utah today. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. 
Finally. With wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi. Only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY. That's 1-800-XFINITY. Or visit a store today. Well, we know that a uh, NHL hockey team's coming, but what will it be named? Mm. There was a story out yesterday about some of the trademarks that have already been applied for. Mm. And for now, I guess we're just going to call it the Utah Hockey Club. Yeah, that's good for now. Yeah, I'm still all in on Yeti, but yeah, uh, me too. that wasn't one of the trademarks they're looking for. 539 now, traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, right now, if you're on I-15, it's all clear. 20 minutes from Draper to downtown. It's a little bit heavy on Redwood Road and Taylorsville up in the 4700 South Stretch. Don't see any Tooele County slowdowns at all, SR-36, or once you're on to I-80. Heather? We're starting to see a few more cars. Southbound I-15 leaving the Ogden area, heading toward downtown Salt Lake. But it's a Friday. That means less traffic on the roadways than the rest of the work week. So we're really not expecting too many delays. No accidents reported yet on city streets or the highways in Weber and Davis County. So a good start to the drive. Eric. Heading out to Park City, got a little bit of slow movement eastbound on I-80 from Lambs Canyon up to the top of Parley Summit. More than likely, it's just some uh, heavy semis uh, struggling up the hill. If you're westbound, no trouble into the valley this morning so far. I-15 Utah County uh, from Provo Two Point of the Mountain. That's 20-minute drive if you're getting on at University Avenue. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's, brand you know it prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. The warming trend has started. We're going for 64 today, mostly cloudy skies. Overnight, 43, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, we've got sunshine, but a mix of clouds in there, high of 70. Sunday looks great, 75 and partly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, it is uh, 41 degrees. Speaker Mike Johnson under fire this week trying to get some aid bills passed, but he's got problems in his own party. We'll talk politics with Rick Klein just ahead. Stay with us, streaming live at KSLNewsRadio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. One of my wife's and I's favorite places to shop is NPS. They have four locations, one in Layton, two in Salt Lake, and one down in Orem. So anybody really along the main center of the Wasatch Front has a chance to check out this amazing place that we like to call, Steve, a nice place to save. Yeah, and its its principles are set up to where they get containers full of brand new merchandise. They market at 30 to 70 percent off. And it's kind of fun to just go and discover what they have. When we say brand new merchandise, it could be any kind of merchandise, Steve. They'll have brand new name brand mattresses that sometimes are 50% off what you'd pay at retail price. I found sports equipment on the industrial side. They've got home repair stuff on the industrial side. It's not set up like a home improvement store. But as you go through, you find stuff. I found a refrigerator water filter that I paid double for through the distributor, which is how I had to do it up until that day. I found a sleeve for my truck, 15 bucks. The good news is you can save 30 to 70% off plus additional savings at NPS. Common Spirit Health has expert orthopedic care that gets you back at it and back to your best. Find skilled orthopedic physicians at Common Spirit locations who specialize in general orthopedics and repair of hips, knees, shoulders, and hands so you can return to running races or chasing the grandkids. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Orthopedic care with human kindness is here. Visit mountain.commonspirit.org. Looking for a secure retirement plan without market risk? Look no further. Lyle Boss, president of Boss Financial, specializes in no market risk retirement strategies with guarantees of principal, guaranteed growth, and lifelong income. Join Lyle right here each Saturday and Sunday for his Safe Money radio show and call him now at 855-355-SAFE for your complimentary customized Safe Money information kit and Safe Money book. Nothing but upside here at 855-355-SAFE. 
Introducing Peach Doors and Windows. Are you ready to upgrade your home with stunning new windows but are overwhelmed with how to begin? Look no further than Peach Windows. You know what Peach they are all about giving you options. Peach offers a wide selection of wood windows, sleek modern black metal frames, European tilt and turn windows, plus much, much more. It's not just about looks, it's about durability and security to protect what matters most. Let them help you find the perfect match for your home, budget, and personal style. Visit their showroom and see for yourself. No pushy sales tactics, only guidance from their experienced staff. No inflated markups just to offer so-called discounts. See their five-star reviews where customers rate them on their attention to detail through every step of the sale and installation process. Amazing home transformations begin with windows and doors. Serving Logan to St. George, just Google Peach Building to see for yourself. KSL News Time 545. The three things you need to know this hour. First, two Utah congressmen are pushing bills they hope will keep undocumented immigrants from boarding commercial planes. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, the NHL commissioner says renovations at the Delta Center for Hockey should take two years, creating 17,000 unobstructed seats. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Traffic's still clear on I-15, whether you're starting out Ogden, anywhere between there and Salt Lake, or going north between Provo and downtown. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds today with highs in the 60s, then 70s for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 41 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check our top national stories. This is a special report from ABC News. Israel retaliates. I'm Sherry Preston. Explosions heard. Some drones spotted in central Iran, home to an air base and a nuclear facility. Even though there has been no confirmation, it was indeed a retaliatory strike on the part of Israel for last week's aggression by Iran. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Tel Aviv. For several hours overnight, as we learned of those explosions in Iran, there was significant concern of an all-out war erupting between Israel and Iran. But as the sun came up in the region, Iran started downplaying the attack, calling it very limited, and Israeli government and military officials not talking about it at all. In Italy, for a meeting of G7 leaders, Secretary of State Antony Blinken reiterating... We're committed to Israel's security. We're also committed to de-escalating. Israel has not said how an attack would take place and when. It appears the strike was limited to a military facility in the central city of Isfahan, not a highly populated area like Tehran. This is ABC News. Let's go in depth now. House Speaker Mike Johnson was under fire all week getting multiple bills passed, but also fighting to keep his job. ABC News political director Rick Klein joins us live. T tell us the lay of the land here, Rick. Yeah, and the fight isn't over. He still has to pass the bills um, that would uh, approve funding for Israel, for Ukraine, for Taiwan, and a bunch of other conservative priorities. And he's doing it separately because he knows that if you do in, in, together, there's a lot of opposition inside his own party. He can piece together coalitions, get all this passed, but it's going to depend on Democrats. And then it may depend on Democrats to save his job because the anger is so real and so raw. So we're going to see a series of votes, uh, some procedural votes yesterday that Democrats had to bail out Johnson and his team on. Uh, and then in through the weekend, we're going to see some more votes tomorrow. And then it's anyone's guess as to whether Speaker Johnson is still going to be the speaker because there are so many Republicans who are upset with uh, the way he's handling this. I was kind of uh, impressed that uh, Speaker Johnson was not in favor of changing the one vote rule to vacate. There's a lot of buzz around that. And, you know, it would be the surest way to save his job. But in other ways, it would kind of enrage his own conference. So it's a gamble in saying, you know, we'll still let any one, one person do it. Um, right now, we've heard from enough Democrats who say they would save him if it push comes to shove, and that might, though, uh, you know, eliminate any any sense of power he has in his own party if he's known as the the, the speaker that Democrats save. So, it is a really dicey uh, situation. But as Speaker Johnson said the other day, he's not resigning, and he's intent on doing the right thing. I was just reading this morning, Rick, that the Ukraine is is struggling; that they need help. That Russia had made some incursions, and they have a bigger push plan for the spring. Is there any timing? Do we have any idea of when we might be able to get more help to them? Yeah, I mean, I think that's driving some of the urgency right now. Is the dire reports, and I'll tell you, there's some skeptics who think that the timing is a little too convenient for reports of this urgency to come out. But you know, we're talking about 100 billion dollars plus of American resources. Um, just to, to keep them, uh, you know, in, in you know in, in action as a as a as an existing entity, they could be wiped out very easily without without our support. So I think that has added to it, and the idea that Putin would be head of the victory is uh, overlaying all of this. Did uh, the Kennedy family's endorsement of Joe Biden yesterday change the trajectory of anything at this point? 
Well, to me, it was a real signal of how concerned they are. Uh, it was the, the real acknowledgement that he's not just a nuisance, but he could be an electoral factor in a major way. And, you know, just yesterday, um, Kennedy was confirmed on the ballot in Michigan, a big battleground state. Uh, I think that, the, you know, in a normal year, the, the Kennedys uh, endorsing the Democratic candidate for president is not a story. But when Bobby Kennedy Jr., when RFK Jr. himself is running and poses this kind of threat, it's a difference. It's a, it is very much a story. And to hear these members, the extended members of the Kennedy family, uh, talk about their brother or their cousin, Bobby, in the kind of sad terms and talk about the importance of, of, of Biden defeating Trump, very stark reminder of the stakes and how close this election could be in so many places. That's got to be awkward in that family. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's a lot of Kennedys, uh, but but almost all of them uh, are, are behind Joe Biden and not their, their, you know, the member of their own family who has one of the most famous names in that family. Well, we'll leave it at that, Rick, and say we got all the way through Friday without talking about Donald Trump. <laughs> Whoa, we have next week in the trial. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds good. And that's the in-depth at 15 and 45. All right, Rick Klein, uh, ABC News political director. Let's get a look at how the drive is shaping up. If you're out earlier this morning at 549, it's traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay App. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy? Well, if you're heading from Draper to downtown, it should be less than 20 minutes through the valley on I-15. It is a bit busy on State Street in Murray right now, a little bit uh, north of Fashion Place. Uh, we've also got some heavy traffic on Mountain View starting to appear around 3500 Southwest Valley, but all clear in Tooele County on the city streets and I-80. Heather? We do have a bit more traffic on the roadways in Weber and Davis County, but none of it heavy at the moment. So you're going to have good speeds whether you take I-15, US-89, or Legacy Parkway. That's north and southbound directions. If you're trying to go east and west on I-84 through the mountains, that also looks really nice right now. Eric? No problems on I-15 in Utah County and getting over to the freeway. Uh, we don't see any real difficult spots, uh, no slowdowns anyplace. Going out through Provo Canyon, a 189 looks good out to Heber City and Spanish Fork Canyon on Highway 6. No problems if you're heading out to Price this morning. Lagoon is looking for ride maintenance technicians. Lagoon offers excellent mechanical training programs with amazing career opportunities. Ride maintenance technician position is full-time and year-round. Details visit lagoonpark.com forward slash jobs. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast looks like an absolute dream, folks. 64 today, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 70. Sunday, 75, partly cloudy skies. Monday, a little bit cooler thanks to a dry, cool front brushing on through. High of 69 there, mostly sunny. Tuesday, 76, partly cloudy. We're back up to 78. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday. How about Thursday? 71 and mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Swifties are happy today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there's a new album. Yeah, there's a new album. And what's it called? The Poets... Po uh, the Tortured Poets Tortured Department, Poets Department, which is an interesting title. Yeah. We did learn this morning, which uh, I thought was nice and, and has a little Utah tie, that her first single release from this album will be with Post Malone. It's about Fortnite. It's called Fortnite. It's called Fortnite. Did you listen to a clip? Not yet. Oh. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, just for two seconds, not enough to appreciate. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's out there. So the, uh, what do they call them? The Posties and the Swifties yeah. now are having a day <laughs> <In> together. <collaboration. laughs> Big party going on tonight. We'll uh, check money news here in just a minute. Stay with us. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost effective, and dependable shipping. 
Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at USPS.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. Visit the contest page on KSLNewsRadio.com. This week, win a pair of tickets to step into a world of lovers and enemies inspired by Romeo and Juliet as the Utah Symphony performs Ravel's Piano Concerto April 26th and 27th at a Bravino Hall. Or find out how you can honor a Utah teacher with KSL's Teacher Tribute Wall presented by Cypress Credit Union. Plus, win tickets to an upcoming Rayall Salt Lake match. Text the word contest to 57500 or go to kslnewsradio.com slash contests. Howdy, folks. It's me again. And surprise, it's tomato frenzy time at J&J Garden Center in Layton. Right now, all large size tomato plants are only $2.99 each. That's half price and grown from seed right here at J&J. And while you're here, pick up a bag or two of J&J's private label all-purpose premium topsoil to help strengthen your vegetable garden for only $5.98 a cubic foot bag. So come to the tomato frenzy sale at J&J Garden Center in Layton, where they have the best products at the best price and the best employees, too. Take the Layton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then west two miles. You got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Rejuvenate your lawn with simple five-step fertilizer system from J&J Garden Center in Layton. Watching Utah's Money this morning is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Wayfair is branching out, offering a new way to shop. The online furniture store will open its first ever physical store in Illinois next month. It'll be 150,000 square feet. No word on if uh, those will spread to other states. The new WNBA star, Caitlin Clark, could be getting an eight-figure endorsement deal with Nike, featuring a signature shoe. Wouldn't it be something if those became collectibles like Air Jordans yeah. did? Her college-era deal with Nike expired last week, so now she's up for another one. She said as soon as it expired, she got offer deals from Under Armour and Adidas. I noticed uh, Tim McGraw was doing a concert back there somewhere, may have been in Indiana, and uh, came out wearing a Caitlyn jersey. Oh. <laughs> so that got a big round of applause from people. Trader Joe's is issuing a recall once again. The Infinite Herbs, that's Herbal Herb, uh, herbs organic basil is believed to have given at least 12 people uh, uh, getting infected with salmonella. Mm. At least one of those uh, persons was hospitalized. Let's get a look now at your money at this moment. And the futures markets are down a little bit. Dow futures are down 53. That's one tenth of a percent. S&P futures off seven. That's a tenth. And the Nasdaq futures down 53, which is three tenths. Good drive throughout the Wasatch Front so far. If you're just heading out the door, we'll check traffic and weather together next. A wise sage once said, a home is a work in progress. Obviously a sage who lived in a three-bedroom fixer-upper. When you own a home, you know you're going to personalize it to make it yours, which makes good business sense as well when it's time to sell. So start with the folks who can make the magic happen. Hercules Credit Union. A Hercules Credit Union home equity line of credit is just 3.99% for six months, which means let the changes begin. Invest in the maintenance projects you've been putting off. Going solar, remodeling the bathrooms, building a new deck, or maybe adding another bedroom as the family grows. Hercules will loan up to 80% loan to value on your home. There's no origination fees either, and it's as simple as using your Visa card for easy access to funds. Get details now at HerculesCU.com. HerculesCU.com. Hercules Credit Union. Growing stronger together. Rates based on approved credit. Equal housing lender. All accounts insured to $250,000 by NCUA. Any Hour Services can help unclog any drain in your house. Whether you have a backup, a clog, or a slow drain you want fixed. Call Any Hour Services or visit anyhourservices.com. When you think of Utah's homeless, who do you see? They are people with names and faces. And many are in dire circumstances. They are men and women, and sometimes children. Many are living on the street, in a car, or in a shelter. Some choose to be homeless. Most do not. Many experience the challenges of addiction or mental illness. All are vulnerable. 
Homelessness is a crisis, one that affects us all. Utah is building a coalition of community leaders and concerned citizens united to end the plight of homelessness. Homelessness should not mean hopelessness. Learn more at projecthumandignity.org. A message from Utah Impact Partnership. On the go, wherever you go, stay in the know with KSL News Radio. Get the KSL News Radio app and stream Tim and Amanda and Jeff Kaplan live mornings and afternoons. Or catch talk when you want. Podcast Dave and Debbie and Boyd Matheson. Check the movie show for a night out and the KSL Greenhouse Show before gardening. The App Store is the first place you go to get the app for KSL News Radio. 559 Traffic and Weather Together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, it's seeing some heavy traffic along Highway 111. It's going south from Magna towards uh, West Valley, uh, right along the base of the Ochre Mountains. No problems on Mountain View, though, or Bangor or Redwood. I-15 still at the full speed limit from Draper to downtown as well. Heather? It's the same up north. We don't have a lot of traffic on the roadways. No accidents reported, so there's no delays on city streets or freeways through Weber and Davis counties. Eric? I-15 looking sharp in Utah County. Uh, no problems as you head north from Payson to Point of the Mountain. That's a 28-minute drive. And getting over to the freeways from Highway 6 and Spanish Fork up to Timpanogos Highway. If you're out of Highland, Cedar Hills, all of that is looking good getting over to the freeway. Along the Wasatch Back, uh, no difficulties this morning from Heber City to Park City on US-40. For over 80 years, the Olson Greenhouse family has delivered the best flowers for your home and landscape. Add color and cheer this year with bedding and container plants from Olson's Greenhouse. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. 64 degrees today and by Sunday, 75 with no chance of any precipitation, just a few clouds. Right now, 41 degrees in Salt Lake City. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning, KSL News Time, 6 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Utah's new NHL team is the talk of the town and the entire sports world. But what happens next? KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our live team coverage. Adam? Amanda, reaction continues to pour in from around the state and the country, and we're hoping to learn a little bit more later tonight. But right now, Team Center Logan Cooley recently told reporters what Utah fans can expect from their new team. We have a lot of young guys that you know have a lot of bright futures, and um, you know obviously we have guys on the team like Keller, uh, Schmaltz, Derzy, Kraus, that guys that have been around the league for a while, and um, you know have proved themselves in this league. So we're an exciting team. Ryan and Ashley Smith, the owners of Utah's new NHL team, are expected to hold a news conference tonight at 5 o'clock with NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. We will have live coverage for you here, right here on KSL. And Utah's new hockey team could potentially go nameless for its first season. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnson continues our team coverage about why. Peter? Adam, new team owner Ryan Smith tells NHL.com that the only thing for sure is that it's going to be the Utah something and not Salt Lake City focused. I mean, there was a bunch out there. I saw the Utah Venom. I saw the Yetis, Utah Yeti with a killer logo. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. Smith says he doubts they'll have the time needed to settle on a chosen name, color, and mascot. And he's leaning on a creative group called Doubleday and Cartwright to, to canvas the state of Utah and find out what names and identities people really want out here. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Yeah, uh, just in case Ryan's up early and listening. Yetis, Yetis, <laughs> and, the, and he's right, that jersey is awesome. Yeah. The Delta Center will be uh, the hockey team's home this fall, and last night a website was up to uh, take $100 deposits for people wanting tickets in two hours. Ryan posted on social media over 6,000 people put money to get on the waiting list, and by last night that number was 11,000 deposits. That's really encouraging. Well, all this hockey news has to have an impact on the state's youth hockey league. So, Adam, have you looked into that? Yeah, Amanda, local hockey fans are really excited about the NHL news. KSL TV actually caught up with local hockey player uh, Adam McRae at the Accord Ice Center in West Valley last evening. Yeah, I think it's going to have a big impact on, like, Utah's hockey community. He says he fell in love with hockey in 2017. Now his sister is learning how to play goalie. He's expecting to see a huge jump in the number of kids playing hockey around the state with the new team moving into town. 
And remember to stay with KSL News Radio uh, again tonight for that news conference. Again, starting at 5 o'clock, we'll have live coverage. And of course, wall to wall coverage all the way to the time that the puck first drops at the Delta Center this fall. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour Iran says everything is normal after firing air defense missiles to protect a major air base and nuclear site. Iran's Press TV reports. There were some loud sounds that were heard in the east of the city of Esfahan, and this was related to the air defense system, as uh, we told you and our viewers before, uh, triggered by the presence of three small drones uh, that were present in that area. Commercial flights that were previously canceled are back to normal. Tom Rivers, ABC News at the Foreign Desk. Protesters supporting people in Gaza continued to rally just off of Columbia University's campus last night after police made over 100 arrests. Protest organizer Raed tells ABC News the demonstrators will continue, or demonstrations will continue, until the university heeds protesters' demands. Students were chemically attacked months ago. Nothing has come of the investigation. We are deeply unsafe as Arab, Muslim, and pro-Palestinian students, and they keep punishing us. They keep handing out disciplinary charges. We have not stopped. Students vowed to remain until the university divests from all Israel-related businesses. New parents can often get blindsided by how stressful raising a a new child can be, and at times it can lead to abuse. Dr. Tegri Hui says that uh, new parents need to establish a support system. The next step is establishing who your support network is, right? We talk about a safe person. It's actually safe people. So who are the people that you can reach out to and let them know? She also says new parents need to remember that crying is the only way for babies to express themselves. First look, traffic now on a Friday morning, and here is Andy Farnsworth. Right now, traffic on I-15 is still clear uh, into Salt Lake City, starting out in Davis County or Utah County. It's been pretty nice on all all of our city streets in the Salt Lake Valley. Some heavy traffic that was building up on Highway 111 and 8400 West is now clear. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The Utah Board of Education is working to try and figure out how to implement a new law that allows books with objectionable materials to be removed from schools statewide. A post on X claims the district has already removed several books. As of right now, no books have been removed statewide after July 1st. That is a possibility, but we have not yet figured out how we're going to implement that. Board of Education spokesperson Sharon Turner says there are a lot of things that have to happen between now and when the law goes into effect. She says as the board decides on those things, they will keep the local education agencies informed. Don Brinkerhoff. KSL News Radio. Unified police are looking for a woman who injured two children in a hit and run crash earlier this month. KSL TV's Garna Mejia reports. Blanca Ramirez and her two kids, Viviana and Angel, were waiting to cross the road on 4500 South and 900 East in Mill Creek. A car pulls up as the family steps onto the road. The car accelerates and hits Viviana, who tries to protect Angel. Police say the driver got out for a moment but then took off. The kids were bruised but did not have any broken. Broken bones. Students in the Salt Lake City School District will be getting uh, presentations in the next few days about the state's new bathroom policy that goes into effect on May 1st. But not everyone is happy about how it has been handled. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson explains. A recently passed law requires people in schools to use the bathroom of the gender they were assigned at birth. And Yandre Chatwin with the Salt Lake City School District says in order to comply, they have to inform all students about the change. Because the law asks us to notify all students, an email to parents wouldn't have sufficed. So we do have two different presentations that we're asking our schools to deliver. Kristen Kinjo, parent of a fourth grader at Emerson Elementary, says they're choosing to hold a dance party in protest at the time of the presentations. So any kids who are choosing not to participate in the in the presentation or any families who were pulling their kids out of the presentation would have somewhere to go where they felt where they felt loved. She thinks the presentations are wrong, especially since other school districts are handling it a different way. But Chatwin says they're just doing their best to implement the law as it's written. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. We have a good drive on this Friday morning along the Wasatch Front. If you're just headed out the door, we'll check traffic and weather together coming up next. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. I am listening for the traffic. I'll always know if somebody's going to be late to work. That's often what's on when I'm driving. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Alpine Home Medical, we bring wellness home. 
Do you find it exhausting getting up from your favorite chair every day? Say goodbye to discomfort and hello to a world of ease. Hi, I'm Jay Broadbent with Alpine Home Medical, and you have so many options when buying a lift chair. For the highest quality, always come to Alpine. Our lift chairs are more than just furniture. They're your ticket to independence and relaxation. Plus, with our spring savings event, we've just marked down some of our chairs that are ready for you to take home. With an unbelievable warranty, you can shop with confidence knowing your comfort is our priority. So stop by any of our 11 locations today and explore our high-quality inventory. Or visit us online at alpinehomemedical.com. That's alpinehomemedical.com. Missionaries trapped and penniless inside Germany borders with war days away. From director T.C. Christensen comes Escape from Germany in theaters now. Tickets at escapefromgermany.com. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. Angie's List is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco-move. Fewer words, less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Been a lot of questions with uh, the new hockey team coming from the NHL, what it means for the uh, Utah Grizzlies. Yeah. That quite honestly have struggled mm -hmm. to, to get a regular crowd out there at uh, the Maverick Center. And it's a high level of hockey. Mm -hmm. But a classy move by them yesterday. They posted all over social media what this will do for hockey in the state of Utah and welcoming the new NHL that franchise. That is classy. Yeah. Wow. So there were, we've had some questions about that from texters, so I thought that was really a nice That's gesture. That's beautiful. All right, let's get a look at uh, traffic and weather together here. It is brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth. Well, traffic from Draper to downtown still only taking you 19 to 20 minutes of travel time. It's been pretty nice on the freeways and... That includes 215 and the 21st South Freeway so far. Mountain View had some heavy traffic, West Valley, but it looks like for the moment that's thinned out. Heather? It's a really nice drive throughout mo most of northern Utah. No problems in Sardine Canyon going to and from Logan and Brigham City. If you hop on southbound I-15, haven't had any accidents, and there are no delays. Everybody's traveling at speed all the way into downtown Salt Lake. Eric? Northbound on the 215 East Belt, uh, looking good uh, from Conwood Heights past Holiday Mill Creek all the way up to Foothill Drive, which in turn is in good shape this early going up to the University of Utah. I-80 out into the mountains for eastbounders. No problems through Parley's Canyon. Westbound past Sugar House over to I-15 also looking good. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock's a Bedrock Quartz stone sale starting at just $39 a foot. Visit BedrockQuartz.com. That's BedrockQuartz.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. A bit of a change to the forecast today. We're going for mostly cloudy skies. Highs right around 64. Overnight, 43, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, 70, partly cloudy skies. A combination of sun and clouds on Sunday, a perfect 75 degrees. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, right where we started the morning, 43 degrees. Well, Netflix stock is headed up and Tesla stock is headed down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what's going on there? We'll uh, talk more. I always enjoy our conversations with Caleb Silver, the editor-in-chief of Investopedia, coming up next. Stay with us, streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. Hi, everyone. It's Congressman Blake Moore here. Representing Utah's priorities in Congress and providing top-notch constituent services at the heart of everything Team Moore does. We've had great success helping Utahns with expedited passports, visa processing, veterans benefits, immigration petitions, retirement issues, tax returns, and much more. If you need help navigating a federal agency, including the IRS, Social Security, the VA, Immigration Services, or Medicare, 
please give my office a call at 801-625-0107. That's 801-625-0107. We're also happy to help coordinate U.S. Capitol tours, take your comments, and provide legislative updates anytime. I also want to invite you to sign up for my weekly e-newsletter. We are soon entering what is called the political blackout period leading up to the primary election, meaning my office cannot reach out with updates and announcements unless you are subscribed to our communications. So sign up today at blakemore.house.gov. It's our honor to serve you and your family in Congress. Thank you. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. Transform your backyard now with a relaxing Bullfrog Spa featuring our patented and fully customizable Jetpack Therapy System. This week at Bullfrog Spa's factory stores, you'll get unbeatable deals, including deep discounts on refurbished and clearance hot tubs and swim spas. For a backyard makeover at a fraction of the cost, come in and save big on premium Bullfrog Spas with up to $4,000 off MSRP and up to 30% off clearance spas with special financing available. Sale ends Monday. Bullfrog Spas. Peaceful body, peaceful mind, peaceful home. This is Jeff Stout with Fink & McGregor, Mortgages Made Simple. Interest rates are not the only thing that has evolved in the mortgage industry. The way loan programs are priced has also undergone some changes. These days, sometimes FHA loans work out better, even factoring in mortgage insurance. This is because loans have what are called loan level pricing adjustments, and they are usually much higher on conventional loans. These fees are more prominent with cash out refinances, low down payment purchases, and lower credit score scenarios. These extra costs end up pushing interest rates higher, and this is why a rate quote without context is usually inaccurate. It can be confusing, but we can help you sort through the numbers to see which option fits your situation. Fink and McGregor, Mortgages Made Simple, 801-264-9494. That's 264-9494 or on the web at finkmcgregor.com, NMLS 289115. KSL Newstime 615. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the owner of Utah's new NHL franchise, Ryan Smith, is holding a news conference later tonight where we hope to learn more about our new team. We'll have live coverage for you right here on KSL. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, students in the Salt Lake City School District will be getting presentations in the next few days about the state's new bathroom policy. Third, it's traffic and weather together. I-15 all clear into Salt Lake City, whether you're starting out north or south. But uh, if you're on I-80, we've had some heavy traffic come and go in Parley's Canyon. Right now, it's pretty good. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds are rolling in today. We'll call it mostly cloudy and 64. I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees right now at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Airstrikes over a central Iranian city. Apparent retaliation by Israel for last weekend's drone attacks. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Tel Aviv with more on the tension ratcheting up in the Middle East. Overnight, a senior U.S. official telling ABC News Israel firing back at Iran. Video posted online showing air defense weapons fired over Isfahan. The first reports of explosions in two locations in Iran just before sunrise. An Iranian state media reporting a drone attack near Isfahan, which houses military bases and research and development sites. The International Atomic Energy Association confirming there was no damage to Iranian nuclear sites in the city. And there were no reports of casualties. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Italy for G7 talks discussing last weekend's actions. The G7 condemned the unprecedented uh, Iranian attack on Israel, unprecedented in scope and scale. He adds that the U.S. is committed to Israel's security and to de-escalation. Four Democrats in the House Rules Committee taking a rare step by supporting Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson's plan to vote on four separate bills to fund Israel and Ukraine, as well as Taiwan. ABC National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy is in Washington. There is clearly bipartisan support for these bills, particularly for additional Ukraine funding. But opposition among some conservatives is strident. Speaker Mike Johnson this week publicly embraced providing additional support for Ukraine. And despite the risk that it might prompt a move to oust him from the speakership, Johnson is working with Democrats to get the aid passed. The jury has now been seated in Donald Trump's hush money trial. Today, five more all Alternates will be chosen. Opening statements are expected to happen on Monday. Well, Taylor Swift dropped her much-anticipated Tortured Poets Department album overnight and giving her fans a gift of a bonus album. Taylor experts say these two pick up where Midnight's left off. Enjoy. 
You're listening to ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. We've seen a lot of movement in the stock market this week and everything from Netflix to Trump media. Investopedia editor-in-chief Caleb Silver joins us live. Give us a lay of the land here, Caleb. What are we seeing? Well, in the stock market, we've had some shakiness. It's been the past couple of weeks, and it really surrounds this drumbeat, this growing drumbeat, that the Fed may not be lowering interest rates at all this year. Now, they still might, but because we have this sticky inflation, we've been talking about it, north of 3%. The Fed is loath to lower interest rates. That just might reignite inflation, even though we're dealing with this as households, high inflation, high interest rates at the same time, trouble for folks living on that fixed income or who are living on low incomes right now. I'll tell you what I find interesting of the three that we were going to talk about is Tesla, because they're in the process of laying people off. At the same time, they're asking the uh, stockholders are asking for a massive payday for Elon Musk. Yeah, well, Elon Musk is the biggest shareholder in Tesla, so he's the one really asking for it and his board. They're looking for $56 billion. They want to restore that $56 billion pay package that was originally rejected by a Delaware judge earlier this year. Uh, Tesla's trying to also relocate its headquarters to a more friendly state like Texas that might allow that. But uh, Tesla sales have been slowing. The stock is one of the worst performers in the stock market this year, down some 43 percent, laying people off. And now they want to restore a massive pay package to the founder, chairman, and CEO of the company who also has a lot of other interests. So it's pretty fascinating. I know that, you know, people who are invested in the stock market, especially people close to retirement, they see us go from what we we topped 40,000 not long ago, and now we're back under 38,000. Speak to those people who are nervous, if you would, Caleb. Yeah, that's what happens in markets, right? This is a stock market buyers and sellers. And don't forget, we've had an incredible uh, sort of 15 months or so since this rally began back in October. The stock market was up 24% last year. It's still up around 5% this year. And it averages around 10% up a year, but it's been even better than that since before the pandemic. So sell-offs like this, reversals like this that happen uh, pretty frequently in the stock market. We haven't had them for a while, but this is just the normal course of things. Keep buying the stock market always always usually reverts to the mean. The mean is usually a return of somewhere between 9 and 11% a year on average. So if you're in it for the long term, this is just the price you pay for being an investor. If you're trying to make quick money in the stock market, well, you're really not investing. You're trading slash gambling. Yeah, I can just tell you, I look at it a whole lot different than I used to since I'm almost 65 years old. Uh, So that long term thing is a big question at this point in my life. Caleb, thank you. Uh, Great to hear from you as always. Have a good weekend. ABC News contributor, editor in Chief of Investopedia, Caleb Silver, on the in-depth at 15 and 45. 619, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Back to you, Andy. If you're on I-15, driving from Draper to Salt Lake, the full speed limit uh, is still in place for you from uh, the Bangator Highway on-ramp all the way to downtown. It's a little bit heavy on Bangator itself. In West Valley, though, over at 3500 South, and SR-201 starting to fill in a little bit, uh, heading through Magna eastbound. Heather? We're starting to see a bit more congestion on some of the city streets in Davis County, especially around the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. That's fairly typical, both on Main Street and 650 North. We also have some, some congestion, though, in Layton at the intersection of Antelope Drive and Hillfield Road. But if you're hopping on a major freeway, no delays north, south, east or west. Eric. No major congestion spots in Utah County right now. It's still a clean drive over to the freeway on all the major feeders. We do have a little bit of extra volume over on northbound, southbound State Street in Orem at 800 North. Uh, if you're down to at the Wasatch back, uh, things are looking good northbound on US 40 from Heber City up to Park City. Murdoch Hyundai, home of Tucson SEL, leased for only $375. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast has nothing but 60s and 70s. It's smooth sailing, folks. 64 today. The change to the forecast today is we're going to add clouds. We'll go mostly cloudy through the afternoon. 70 tomorrow, partly cloudy. Sunday looks great. 75, partly cloudy skies. Into Monday, looks like a dry, cool front. Mostly sunny, 69. Not bad. 76 on Tuesday, partly cloudy. We keep that sunshine with a couple of clouds on Wednesday. High of 78, 71 mostly cloudy by Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Fair skies this morning, 43 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. I remember which theater I saw Footloose in. Really? It was, I don't know why. Well, yes, I, I sort of know why because it was the, I was dating this guy in college I really liked. <laughs>
Oh. And it was one of our first dates was going to see Footloose. And it was that theater up on Highland Drive. I can't oh, remember the name. Oh, it was here. Name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was, I lived here then. Wow. Yeah. Um, I was in college at the U. And it was that theater that I can't remember. It was a big, beautiful theater up on Highland Drive. Hmm. And now here we are at the 40th anniversary of Footloose. And uh, David Dujanovic will be at Pace in High School this morning at 9 o'clock. Yeah, going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll take a look here. We'll take a quick break. And then we'll take a look at how the markets are doing this morning on the heels of our conversation with Caleb Silver. So stay with us. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Health care with human kindness is here. Hello, human kindness. Hello. I'm Case Lawrence, and I'm running for Congress. Our skyrocketing national debt is the greatest risk to the American dream. We can fix America's debt crisis, but not with politicians who are more worried about their next election than America's next generation. I'm not a politician. I'm a problem solver. I hope you'll join me. I'm Case Lawrence, and I approve this message. Paid for by Case for Congress. Every year, we seem to have a few people trying to get our free furnace promotion after the sale has ended. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and I know you want to save as much money as you can, but that's not how sales work. When they're over, they're over. Lucky for you, we still have a few more spots on our schedule we need to fill, so I'm extending the sale, but I'm not quite sure for how much longer. Definitely no later than April 30th, and once I think our schedule's full enough, I gotta pull these ads, so don't wait too long to call and schedule your free estimate. Just to recap, when you have any hour services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it. About 400 bucks. The furnace is free, you just pay the labor. So if your furnace and air conditioner are ready to be replaced, don't be one of those people that wishes they had called and taken advantage of our free furnace sale. The estimate's free, and we'll make sure you have all of the information you need to decide if our free furnace sale is right for you. If you think you might be interested, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7400. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisor, TrajanWealth.com. Pepsi is partnering with celebrity chef Bobby Flay and launching two limited edition sodas for the summer, Pepsi Lime and Pepsi Peach. Pepsi Peach. Hmm. Hmm. It comes right after another soda launched a summer flavor. It's Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. Well, that's just dirty Dr. Pepper for yeah. Utahns. Yeah. Uh, I've been following this for the past couple of days, trying to, my darndest to understand. But sometime in the next few days or even hours, the miners who chiseled bitcoins out of complex mathematics are going to take a 50% pay cut, effectively slicing new production of the world's largest cryptocurrency in half. The next halving will uh, be only the fourth to take place since the digital currency's 2009 launch. So for every so many Bitcoin it's that are mined. It's into the system that they, that, that guy who's still anonymous created. Yeah. And they say it uh, it happens at the current rate of about once every four years. Yeah. Well, don't, don't regular stocks do that, too? I yeah. Mean, yeah. Uh, first, mobile phones were small, then they got huge, and now they're getting small again. The new iPhone 17 Plus is rumored to be smaller than the iPhone 15 Plus. I'm glad because they're getting so big I can can barely hold them and get my fingers. <laughs> uh, Apple has been experimenting with phone sizes since the release of the iPhone 6 in 2014. By the way, the theater you saw Footloose? Yeah. The Villa. The Villa. Uh, yes, it's the Villa. Opened in 1949. <laughs> yeah. Ticket prices were 75 cents oh, back wow. then. <laughs> yeah. All right, markets are down, but uh, we've actually regained some of the losses from earlier. The uh, futures of the Dow off 26. The S&P is down just 3.5. The Nasdaq down 30. 
Coming up in just a moment, we'll take another look at your Friday morning commute. Looks like it's moving along a little lighter volume than the other days of the week. We'll check it next on KSL. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best, just suitable. Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. At the heart and soul of the Larry H. Miller Company is the connection between people and the places they share. Because we believe that life takes place. Places for families to live to laugh and to heal. Places where recreation meets innovation. Places where entrepreneurship is blended with stewardship. Places built on the value of relationships. From the top of our minds to the bottom of our hearts, we're fully invested and fully committed to making the places that will enrich lives for generations to come. KSL News Time 629, traffic and weather together. Again, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here's Andy. And so far, only heavy traffic really appearing on Mountain View in the West Valley portion. Bangor is still good to go, and we haven't seen any I-15 or 215 slowdowns as long as we've stayed crash-free, which we are right now. Heather? No problems through Weber and Davis counties. Traffic is starting to fill in just a little bit southbound I-15. Not enough to slow anybody down. Well, we are seeing a bit of congestion on some of the city streets in Clearfield, Layton, and occasionally up in Ogden. Eric? Just slight delays at some of the stoplights if you're northbound State Street in Orem approaching 800 north, but uh, no big problems any place uh, within Utah County. The freeway still looking good. 24-minute drive expected from Spanish Fork to the county line. Spring into performance with Jody Wilkinson's new Acura all-wheel drive RDX. Superior handling, uh, safety, and luxury. Lease for $4.59 monthly. Details text Acura to 57500. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. It is going to be a lovely weekend today. Just a few clouds and 64 for a high 75 on Sunday. Right now, it's 43 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time 630. KSL's top story this hour. The head of Utah's bid for another Winter Olympics says having an NHL team could have a big impact if the games return in 2034. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with more. Adam? Amanda, Utah's Olympic bid committee president and CEO Fraser Bullock tells me this morning how he felt when the news broke yesterday. It's fantastic. This is a generational opportunity for all of Utah, and I'm very grateful. Bullock says this helps us in 2034 in two specific ways. One, the Delta Center will need more hockey-accommodated seats at the very least, and whether or not we get that new arena downtown, he says all those extra seats will net Utah millions more dollars in ticket sales. He also says that having an NHL team in Utah could increase the likeliness that NHL's players will want to play for their countries in the Olympics in 2034. He also told me that the Delta Center is already set to host uh, figure skating and short track speed skating, and that the Maverick Center and Peaks Ice Arena are both, both set to host hockey games. That a new arena could give them even more flexibility. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Meantime, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman was interviewed last night on the NHL Network, and he had a lot to say about hockey in Utah. You mentioned the fact there'll be hockey at the Delta Center, 12,000 unobstructed seats and, and perhaps plans to go further from that. Well, actually, there are plans which I've seen and it'll take two summers to do it after this summer. But the unobstructed 
uh, capacity will be 17,000 when they're done. And while it's 12,000 unobstructed now, mm -hmm. uh, there's still another 4,000 for the temporary part of this uh, obstructed seats. Well, it's clearly been part of your legacy to have hockey in non-traditional markets. How nice is it going to be for hockey fans to see hockey in Utah? Well, I think it's going to be great. It's a great winter sports area, so we're looking forward to going to Utah. Great for sports, great for winter sports, and we think NHL hockey will thrive there. The commissioner says they had to move the team out of Arizona because the college arena they were playing at was not suitable for the NHL. Uh, but he does hope that Arizona can build a new stadium down the road so hockey can return there. KSL's top national stories now. Israel launched a missile attack at a military base in Iran overnight in response to Iran's attack earlier this week. This morning, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was asked about the escalation while he attends the G7 meetings in Italy. We cannot support a major military operation in Rafah. First, there are currently somewhere around 1.4 million people in Rafah, many of them displaced from other parts of Gaza. Lincoln says they have announced additional sanctions on Iran. Immigrants who want to board a plane in the U.S. can use their customs documents as ID. Two Utah congressmen are pushing bills to stop that. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with the story. Peter? Tim, Representative Burgess Owens has added his name to a bill that would stop airlines from accepting documents as ID, like the Immigration Customs Enforcement's document that would summon immigrants to report to their office. Owens says in a statement he wants this to resolve a, quote, double standard where American citizens face strict airport security standards around ID. Utah Senator Mike Lee is running a companion bill, and he refers to this new app called CBP-1 that allows immigrants to set up appointments with Customs and Border Patrol before entering a point of entry. Other congressional leaders say that the app actually protects U.S. Uh, interests and citizens. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL Weather with Matt Johnson. We're more than halfway through the month, so how are those April showers looking? We've picked up about a third of an inch in Salt Lake City when we averaged 2.16 inches for the entire month, so running way behind normal in one of our wettest months of the year. Bountiful bench, 1.45, so a little bit more in the rain gauge, but you do expect more up there. 3.74 is the average on the month. Despite the setback, we're rounding out the winter with an above-average snowpack. Let's get that first look traffic now with Andy Farnsworth. Right now, if you're traveling on I-15, then uh, you've got a clean drive coming into Salt Lake City. There is a bit of uh, slowing on North 15 right before 600 North in Salt Lake that just sort of popped up. And we've got a bit of uh, slowing on Legacy now, just uh, going from Centerville up towards Farmington. Very, very minor spots, but just starting to appear. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The Jordan River and its tributaries could have higher levels than normal, normal sooner than expected. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with more. Michael? Amanda, this probably doesn't come as a surprise given our snowpack is at 130% of normal, but Salt Lake County officials tell the Salt Lake Tribune they're expecting flood risk will stay relatively low. Still, the river will be flowing high, fast, and cold as water is released from Utah Lake. Officials are warning people to be careful if they, their pets, or their kids are around any of these waterways. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. New parents often feel overwhelmed at the stress raising a new baby. Dr. Uh, Tegri Hui with the Intermountain Center for Safe and Healthy Families says new parents need to go to support people. You're reacting to that frustration because we never planned for it. It, it was always something that is not going to happen to me. And so often um, we're hit with a different reality. She says new parents need to remember that crying is the only way for babies to express themselves. Don't be surprised if you see a big hot dog driving around the state this weekend. The Oscar Mayer Wienermobile parked its big bun and dog at Sugar House Park on Thursday, grilling out with fans. Today, they'll be camping at KOA Utah. Aeoli Anna Murphy says they're having a great time with all the stairs and waves. I think people often will see us randomly, but the, the fans who really, really want to see us will go online and track us down. After a brief change to the Frank Mobile, the iconic Wiener Mobile's name has been restored for this summer's road trip around the country. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. I knew it was going to be a mistake to change it from the Wiener Mobile to the Frank Mobile. <laughs> it just doesn't have the same ring to it. Ahead of the arrival of Utah's honored guest, Kevin Bacon, returning to Pace in High School 40 years later, it hasn't been the easiest road for everyone involved with preparations. 
KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera got the scoop on how they're feeling. With over 1,000 requests for volunteers and the whole state buzzing for Kevin Bacon's arrival, Student Council Advisor Jenny Staley has been on a constant rotation of meetings, Zoom calls, emails, and press appearances. She admits the coordination effort has been overwhelming. Having a real clear picture of how it's all going to work. And, you know, and in addition to that, we're still putting on proms. So... You know, we've got a gym to decorate. (laughs) Staley credits every volunteer, local agencies, and the community for stepping up to make a lifetime memory in Payson. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. I'm so happy for them. I wonder if they're going to try and stick to what the decor was in the movie. Oh, I wonder. You know, by watching the movie, then trying to make the gym look a lot like it did. Flashback. Yeah. No major problems to report on the freeways. We'll check traffic and weather coming up next. Listen to KSL for news to get exactly what you want. Stories about what's going to affect me. Traffic. If I want to know now, I'll go to KSL Radio. Hear the important stories, the stories that affect you. On KSL News Radio. Are you ready to start your journey as a small business owner? Ready to start something bold? Something groundbreaking? Utah is the startup capital of the world, and we're setting a new global standard for innovation and entrepreneurship. So if you're thinking about starting a new business or looking to grow an existing business, this is where you'll find the resources to make it happen. Visit startup.utah.gov today and start something here. Healthcare with human kindness is here. It's at Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Together, we have a common purpose, partnering with you in health and healing using powerful medicine, powerful technology, and the greatest power of all, human kindness. You'll know it when you see it, because human kindness is in every care site and in every caregiver. Common Spirit Health. Hello, human kindness. Attention Wasatch Front businesses and property managers. GoPave Utah is a full-service parking lot paving, repair, and maintenance company servicing the Wasatch Front. Contact GoPave Utah today. GoPaveUtah.com. One of my wife's and I's favorite places to shop is NPS. They have four locations, one in Layton, two in Salt Lake, and one down in Orem. So anybody really along the main center of the Wasatch Front has a chance to check out this amazing place that we like to call, Steve, a nice place to save. Yeah, and its its principles are set up to where they get containers full of brand new merchandise. They market at 30 to 70% off, and it's kind of fun to just go and discover what they have. When we say brand new merchandise, it could be any kind of merchandise, Steve. They'll have brand new name brand mattresses that sometimes yeah. are 50% off what you'd pay at retail price. I found sports equipment on the industrial side. They've got home repair stuff on the industrial side. It's not set up like a home improvement store. Right. But as you go through, you find stuff. I found a refrigerator water filter that I paid double for through the distributor, which is how I had to do it up until that day. I found a sleeve for my truck, 15 bucks. The good news is you can save 30 to 70% off plus additional savings at NPS. A lot of excitement around the NHL team now officially coming to Utah we're thinking about the now, but Fraser Bullock is looking at 2034. Mm-hmm, sure. And the fact that it could mean millions of dollars more for the Olympics mm-hmm. uh, if they come our way. So that's an angle to the story Adam Small's following this morning. 639, traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. And from Draper to downtown, the drive is uh, the full speed limit. It's still pretty quiet going into Salt Lake City. It's a little bit heavy out on Mountain View going south through South Jordan. And uh, right now through West Valley, though, it looks pretty good on the northbound side all the way to the 21st South Freeway. Heather? We had a little bit of slowing on Legacy Parkway northbound between Centerville and Farmington and on I-15 northbound as you leave downtown Salt Lake, but those are gone, so whatever was slowing everybody down, it's not happening now. Most of the traffic, though, is heading south out of Ogden on I-15 into downtown Salt Lake. That's still less than 30 minutes. Eric? A 20-minute drive in store for you northbound from University Avenue in Provo up to Point of the Mountain. Uh, No major problems in Utah County this morning. Over on the 215 East Belt, working your way alongside the mountains, uh, no problems going up to I-80 or the uh, Foothill Drive exit. And Foothill Drive also looking good up to the University of Utah early this morning. Rekindle adventure in a place everyone connects with nature. Cedar City Bryan Head. Shopping, dining, museums, spring skiing, tubing, hiking, biking, disc golf, and much more. Level up your adventure. Visit cedarcity.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Hey, five degrees warmer today with highs in the mid-60s and mostly cloudy skies. Overnight, we're going 43, partly cloudy. 
Tomorrow, 70. Partly cloudy skies, but up to 75 by Sunday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Let's see, right now in Salt Lake City, 43 degrees downtown. We're going to talk with the KSL Hockey Insider and host of the Utah Puck Report, Jay Stevens, joins us in a moment. <laughs> All right, that'll be fun. Right now, though, speaking of fun, Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News. It's brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. There are a lot of things that are black. Bears, some birds, beans that go great in burritos. Black is the color of olives, onyx, and oil. Prunes and pepper and panthers are black. Penguins and piano keys are only half black. Just like the new Utah license plates. I have a hard time wrapping my mind around this, but in this gloriously colorful state, the prison inmates are pounding out boring black plates with reflective white letters. I would think they'd be as unpopular as those black jazz uniforms, but not the case. These new plates look so generic that instead of the word Utah, they might as well just use the word state. Nonetheless, they're selling so fast that if you want one, you're going to have to wait. Axios reports there's a 6,000 plate backlog for these basic black tags because they're throwbacks. They harken back to a time when your grandpa was cruising in a 68 Camaro. Windows rolled down, Beach Boys cranked up. His plates were the same color as outer space. And now yours can be too because Utah is back in black. And it goes with anything. Whether your car is day glow blue, zesty yellow, or midnight gray, the plates match the tires. And honestly, I saw a couple of them on the way home last night and they look awesome. Awesome. So here in the Beehive State, it's official. Black is the new black. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Brought to you by Jordan Wilcox, IRS harassing you. The law offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit taxhelput.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Live at the Eccles presents Tony Award winner Ben Platt at the Eccles Theater, July 16th and 17th, with special guest Brandy Clark. Tickets for Ben Platt's The Honeymine Tour at live at the Eccles.com. KSL News Time, 645. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the leader behind Utah's bid for the 2034 Winter Olympics says having an NHL team could net Utah millions more dollars when the games likely return in a decade. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, the Jordan River is already running higher than normal, and that might last into the summer. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Traffic on I-15 is uh, still clear for now going north from Draper to downtown. We've got uh, a pretty smooth drive going south from Ogden. Uh, and it's starting to see some people wake up on this Friday morning, but city streets are still mostly quiet. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds today with highs in the 60s, then 70s for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 39 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check our top national stories. This is a special report from ABC News. Israel retaliates. I'm Sherry Preston. G7 foreign ministers, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, meeting in Italy, warning of new sanctions against Iran for its drone and missile attack on Israel last weekend, even as Israel appears to strike back overnight. Here's ABC News Chief Global Affairs Correspondent Martha Raditz. Israel had been understandably secretive about exactly how this attack would be carried out and certainly when. There was an enormous amount of internal debate in Israel about the scope of this attack with with hardliners wanting to send a strong message of deterrence. But it appears this strike was limited to a military facility in Isfahan in hopes that there would be no escalation. At the G7 meeting, Secretary Blinken saying, I'm not going to, uh, to speak to these reported events. Um, all I can say is that for our part and for the entire G7, our focus has been on de-escalation. This is ABC News. Let's go.
Well, it's official. Utah is getting an NHL team. KSL Hockey Insider and host of Utah Puck Report, Jay Stevens, joins us live. What did you think, Jay, when you saw those tweets from Ryan Smith about how many people had already put down a little money to get tickets? I think it just goes to show that it's true. Like, Utahns show up, just like Ryan said. We're ready for the NHL, and we're all excited about it. Fans have been just excited and chomping at the bit. And yet you've got a, a, a Grizzlies hockey team out there that's saying, man, we have struggled to get people to come and support us on a regular basis. I understand the difference between, you know, a, uh, a, a feeder system and the NHL, but do you think it's that big of a deal to the, uh, to the market? Will this make more people more interest, uh, interested in hockey? Absolutely. Anybody that goes to a hockey game, like an NHL hockey game, becomes a huge fan. And if you just look at the last two teams that started with Seattle and with Las Vegas, you know, they didn't have big hockey markets before, but the minute they, you know, they hit the streets, everybody showed up, their games are all selling out. The, you know, the youth attendance is, or the youth participation grows, you know, Vegas went from 400 registered youth hockey players to 4,000. So yeah, it's, it's going to be the same thing here. And there's plenty of room for the Utah Grizzlies and, that's, a, that's such an affordable option for hockey fans. So I think both teams will do just fine here. What do you think it'll do for youth hockey clubs in this area? I think you're going to see a similar explosion. We already have over 4,000 registered hockey players. I, I expect to see that grow. Uh, Ryan Smith has mentioned how important it is for him to grow minor hockey the same way they have the Utah Jazz. He wants to do something similar with youth hockey here, which is one of the main reasons I'm really excited about having an NHL team here is you're going to see more rinks put in and a huge explosion. I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of our colleges be able to go NCAA division one. So I think it's just, this is going to become a hockey town just like Vegas did. Wow! Some of the pictures out in front of the Delta center yesterday, you mentioned the Vegas Knights. There were Knights fans out there with their jerseys on that were celebrating you as a hockey fan. What was your, what were your emotions when this uh, first became a reality? Honestly, it's just, it's overwhelming as a hockey fan in Utah. The, you know, Besides Trevor Lewis and Steve Connell-Walchuk, and also uh, Daniel Brickley, we really haven't had that many guys get NHL games here. And so we never thought we were an NHL prospect for a market, right? We just always thought we were the ones that were just a ski town. But we've, you know, there's a hardcore hockey group here that have been waiting for this forever. And honestly just maybe never really thought it came true so, or would, would even be considered just so all of a sudden have an nhl team here was just overwhelming and pretty emotional honestly it's it's amazing just a real quick jay do you have a, a favorite name for the new team yeah you know when the yeti thing first came up i was pretty against it but then it grew on me there you go <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sure you've seen the other names like Ven- venom and blizzard and i think those are all cool and at the end of the day, we're going to love whatever it is. That's we're just right. excited. I'm excited that he's taking time to, yeah. to name it, you know, do it right. All right, Jay. So we're, we're all just... in We're all in on Yeti in yeah. here, so I'll tell you that. <laughs> but you're right. We'll <laughs> yeah, love it no cool. matter what it is. We, we appreciate your time. That's uh, the host of the Utah Puck Report, Jay Stevens, with us on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. He talks about how the uh, Vegas market rallied around the Knights down there. When uh, the Raiders first showed up and I was down to do, you know, announcing for the Raiders, we'd call an Uber so that we could get to our hotel. And they were inevitably hockey fans. And they'd say, what are you in town for? Yeah. We'd say, we're here to do uh, the Raiders game tomorrow night. And they go, I mean, I felt like they were going to stop the car and put me out. Because, oh, because you weren't a hockey <laughs> fan? That, no, because they don't want N- NFL oh. in their NHL market. I mean, that's how strong they feel about yeah. it down there. But it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's get a look at how the drive is doing with uh, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay App. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy's back in the traffic center. So far, Bangor traffic starting to get really heavy now from 35th South up to 21st South. The drive on I-15 has been clear between Point of the Mountain and Murray, although volumes are increasing a bit between Murray and South Salt Lake. Not enough to add to your drive time, though. Pretty much everywhere, you're still going to get to your destination in the Salt Lake Valley at a minimum travel time. Heather? We've got a little bit of congestion on Hillfield Road. This is heading north toward Hill Air Force Base. No excessive delays, especially on SR-193. 
That looks pretty good. Southbound I-15 still at freeway speeds from Ogden to Salt Lake. And if you need to get to the airport using Legacy Parkway and the West Side Belt are good options for you. Eric. Along the 215 eastbound, not having any problems so far. Northbound from Cottonwood Heights uh, up past Mount Olympus to Foothill Drive. And I-80 out into the mountains looks good. Uh, we've got good movement in Utah County, too. Provo 2 Point of the Mountain, that's a 20-minute drive. For a top-quality kitchen or bath with top-quality craftsmanship, call 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. They're always on time with no delays and meet all deadlines. Visit 3daykitchen.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast looks like an absolute dream, folks. 64 today, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 70. Sunday, 75, partly cloudy skies. Monday, a little bit cooler thanks to a dry, cool front brushing on through. High of 69 there, mostly sunny. Tuesday, 76, partly cloudy. We're back up to 78. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday. How about Thursday? 71 and mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Let's see what our current temperature is right now. Downtown 39 degrees and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check money news coming up next. Do you have a project around your house that is bugging you? You know, you've got a sink that won't drain. So every time you brush your teeth, you're looking at, you know, this much water <laughs> or, a t- or a tub or a shower that won't drain or or you're worried about your air conditioner because you're turning it on this week and it's starting to make fun. I found that clearing your mind of these little projects is good for your health. So I just call Superior Water and Air, whatever it is, and their response is, we got this. Yeah. We got, you don't have to worry about this anymore. We got this. I had that exact experience. We had a meeting out there with Rob. This was a few years ago. And uh, I said, I've got a faucet upstairs that is, when I turn it on, it squirts sideways. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> my, my son decided he was going to fix it, yeah, yeah. and I don't want to try and fix it myself. <laughs> and Rob said, just let me come and take care of that yeah, for you. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a big thing. They don't have to come out no. on an emergency, but uh, they're ready to help you with just about all things. Right, all kinds. of. I mean, they put in my home standby generator, so now if the power goes out, it doesn't go out at my house because yeah. I've got that home standby generator. Uh, clean drinking water, you name it, and checking your air conditioning system right about now would be a good call. So uh, make that call today. Here's the number, 801-974-9090, or go to superiorwaterandair.com. Calling all Wasatch and Summit County residents. Use the code LOCALVIP to get early access and lock in your summer plans for Utah Symphony's Deer Valley Music Festival. An emergency can happen any second. Here's a few seconds to think about where you'd go. When you need medical care fast, the closest emergency room is a smart thing to know. Common Spirit Health ERs are your direct path between feeling scared or uncomfortable and feeling better. Find emergency care in your neighborhood at mountain.commonspirit.org. Watching Utah's Money this morning is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, trajanwealth.com. Yeah, Utah's gas prices are well above average today. We're sitting at about $3.96 a gallon while the country sits at three sixty-eight. I know my son's growing up when he starts complaining about gas prices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, Netflix gained another 9.3 million subscribers to start the year, despite subscribers feeling less than enthusiastic about the password crackdown. Starbucks is going green, kind of. The uh, company announced that their plastic single-use cups will contain up to 20% less plastic. The uh, coffee company says their plastic cups make up 75% of sales in the U.S. The new cups are part of their goal to cut waste in half by 2030. Let's take a look at your money at this moment. The Dow futures down just 27, less than a tenth of a percent. S&P is off two, that's a fraction. And the NASDAQ futures off 28, which is a little over one-tenth percent. All right, volume uh, increasing just a little bit, but the freeways and city streets still moving along well. We'll check traffic and weather together next. Howdy, folks. It's me again. And surprise, it's tomato frenzy time at J&J Garden Center in Layton. Right now, all large-sized tomato plants are only $2.99 each. That's half price and grown from seed right here at J&J. And while you're here, pick up a bag or two of J&J's private label all-purpose premium topsoil to help strengthen your vegetable garden for only $5.98 a cubic foot bag. So come to the tomato frenzy sale at J&J Garden Center in Layton, where they have the best price
products at the best price and the best employees, too. Take the Layton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then west two miles. You got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat, watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us don't be worried, be ready. KSL News Radio has partnered with Be Ready Utah to provide the plans your family needs for an emergency, the tools and supplies to keep on hand, and the knowledge on how to keep a cool head. It's Be Ready Utah. Listen to our show, Dave and Duchanovic, for Be Ready Tips and Tools. Or you can always find the latest preparation info at BeReadyUtah.gov. Be Ready Utah with KSL News Radio. 659 traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy? Amanda travels through uh, looking good through the valley. I-15 delay free. Bangor a little bit heavy in West Valley at 35th South. Mountain View starting to slow in that same stretch. SR-201, first bit of busy traffic between 84 and 7200 West starting to settle in. Heather? It's a great drive through the mountains in Sardine Canyon. Also in Weber Canyon, that's I-84 to and from Morgan. But we do have some delays southbound I-15 as you approach the Brigham City turnoff. Haven't heard of a crash in that area, but something is bringing traffic to a halt, so we'll try to get a look at it. Otherwise, you're going to have a really good drive if you're heading south toward downtown Salt Lake. Eric. Get a little bit busier if you're on 2100 North and Lehigh getting closer to the freeway. If you're going away from Redwood Road, it's not until 2300 West just past that intersection that you think you're going you're gonna to see things slow down just a little bit over to the entrance ramps to the freeway. Pioneer Crossing, as opposed to yesterday when we had a crash that was really holding things up, things are looking great uh, this morning eastbound out of Saratoga Springs all the way over to American Fork. And I-15 along uh, all across Utah County is looking good. That's a 30-minute drive from Santa Quin to Point of the Mountain. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. 64 eventually this afternoon and then 70s for the weekend. 70 tomorrow, 75 on Sunday. Temps are retreating a bit now. It's 39 degrees just ahead of the sunrise. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock on Utah's Morning News. Good morning, I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story on the 7 o'clock report. Hockey fever has hit the Beehive State with the news that Utah's getting an NHL team. We should get a lot more information on the new team a little later today. KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our live team coverage. Adam? Amanda, we are expecting to hear from the new owners, Ryan and Ashley Smith, tonight, along with NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. But for now, Utah's just soaking it all in, having two of the big four North American sports for the very first time. Our new goalie, Connor Ingram, told reporters his thoughts about the move to Utah. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I really like Salt Lake City. We stop every year on the on the drive-in, and I had an Airbnb booked, uh, Airbnb booked in Sundance for, for the drive home. So I'm excited for Salt Lake City. Uh, I will miss Arizona, but... I think it's a it's if you're gonna move it's a it's a good place to go. We'll have live coverage for you tonight when that news conference starts at five o'clock. New team owner Ryan Smith says our team could potentially start next season without a new name. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston continues our live team coverage. Peter. 
Adam Reinsmith says he's in no rush to put a name on his new baby. But a few weeks ago, he seemed biased toward the... Utah Yeti with a killer logo. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. That's dope. Um, especially with the U and the Y. They finally come together. Oh! Right? Smith is now telling NHL.com the team will be named for Utah and not Salt Lake City. Smith says the state name will be a placeholder on the front of players' jerseys, and the fans won't have to wait two years for a nickname to wear on their gear. The naming process will also be in experienced hands because NHL.com reports that Smith is relying on a big-name advertising company that did brand work on Nike, Apple, and other professional sports teams. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. First thing I noticed when I drove in this morning is the great big NHL logo on the side of the yeah, Delta Center cool. next door. That's going to be the home, of course, of the new hockey team. And last night, a website was created to take $100 deposits for people wanting tickets. In two hours, Ryan Smith posted on social media over 6,000 people had put money down to be on the waiting list. And by last night, that number was 11,000 deposits. Wow, I wonder what it is right now after a few more hours. So, Adam, how do you think a new NHL team is going to impact the state's youth hockey programs? Well, man, I can tell you those youth uh, hockey players are already ecstatic about the NHL news. Acting manager of the Accord Ice Center in West Valley, uh, Chris Bellater, tells KSL TV, youth hockey leagues were already growing, and he expects those numbers to skyrocket. I never thought I'd see this in my lifetime, so I'm I'm excited to, to see an NHL team coming here. Bellater grew up playing hockey and now runs the Learn to Play program. And, of course, remember to stay in touch with KSL News Radio all day today uh, for the latest coverage on the NHL moving to Utah. And, of course, that news conference tonight at 5 o'clock. Again, we will have live team coverage on that story. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. Explosions and drones were spotted near an airbase in Iran overnight in what appears to be Israel's response to the Iran attack. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge reports now from Tel Aviv. It appears at this stage that the Iranian regime is trying to play this down and the Israelis are not trying to own it. And therefore, I think both sides, at the moment at least, are trying to de-escalate, even though we've had this pretty incredible series of strikes potentially overnight. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the U.S. will not support any attacks against Iran or Gaza. There was a frightening, uh, frighteningly close call on the runway in Washington, D.C. between a jet blue and a southwest flight. ABC's uh, Gio Benitez is following the story. Passengers on the jet blue flight describing the sudden jolt. We were on the runway taking flight um, and then they hit the brakes. Those planes stopping just 400 feet from each other, according to Flight Radar 24. JetBlue says there were no injuries reported. One air traffic controller cleared the JetBlue flight to take off just moments after a different controller cleared a southwest plane to taxi across that same runway. The man who snuck onto a Delta flight at the Salt Lake City International Airport back in March is being charged now with national security crimes. Police say the man boarded a flight using a photo of someone else's boarding pass. There will be some major road closures this weekend for the Salt Lake City Marathon. Oh, that's right. That's this weekend. Uh, 200 east along with 400 to 600 south will close starting overnight, and other roads will close tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. For a full list of those closures, just go to kslnewsradio.com. First look traffic on the 7 o'clock report. Back to Andy Farnsworth. And right now, if you're taking I-15, the drive is clear from Draper to Salt Lake. For now, it's getting a bit heavier, but not slowing you down at all. SR 201's got some wait time around 72 and 8400 West and a little bit of busy traffic on Mountain View in West Valley, but still looking good along Redwood Road in Lehigh and along Highway 89 in Davis County. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Utah's monthly unemployment report for March has just been released. Joining us live on the KSL Newsline spokesperson for the Department of Workforce Services, Jared <laughs> Mendenhall. Give us the uh, skivvy here. What's going on? Good morning. Uh, the big news that's coming out of this report is that Utah has now done 35 consecutive months of unemployment below um, 3%. So the uh, unemployment here in Utah is at 2.8%. That's a full percentage point below the uh, national rate of 3.8%. Uh, job growth ticked up to 2.1%. And that is uh, in comparison to the national number of 
1.9 percent in the uh the, so then wh- why is that three percent number significant and that three percent number is significant it is what an economist calls structural or frictional or natural unemployment that uh what you want to see for a healthy economy is some unemployment and that just accounts for people that are in the process of moving from one job to another so this is an incredible streak um utah's utah's had a really really hot economy um since the uh since the end of the pandemic does your report show how many people are working more than one job? Uh, we do have some of that information that's available at uh, jobs.utah.gov. Our, our economists gather loads and loads of information, and there's some reports there. Um, typically, that number has been about 6%. What do you say to those that are out there looking for work right now? And, of course, uh, just because we've had low, low unemployment um, for the last uh, or nearly three years, actually, um, that doesn't mean that if you're one of those people that are out looking for a job or the company you've, you've been working for had to go through some layoffs, um, that can be really, really uncomfortable. And that can be a lot of chaos. Uh, what we're seeing is we've, we've seen that unemployment number go from that about 2.1% to about that 2.8%. So it, it, the, the labor market isn't as tight as it, as it was a couple of years ago. And so what we're finding is that people that are looking for jobs, you have to have your, you have to sharpen up your job hunting skills. It's not as easy to find a job as it was two years ago. So that, that just means making sure that you have a good resume, you're prepared for those interviews. And the good part is that we have a whole department here in state government, the Department of Workforce Services, that have people available that can help you out with that. Our website has thousands of jobs you can look at, and then our employment centers do have uh, employment counselors that can help you um, craft a resume that can help you prepare for an, an interview, and, and, and you can uh, set up appointments to meet with some of them to, to kind of help you um, navigate those uh, that job hunt. Jared, are, they, are the unemployment numbers consistent around the state, or is this largely in the Wasatch Front? Um, so uh, as part of this release, we do we do take a look at uh, at what's happening in each county, and it, it fluctuates. You know, some of those some of the rural counties tend to have a little higher unemployment, and some of the urban counties have lower unemployment. Uh, one of the one of the hot points in Utah has, has been that Washington County area, where St. George has been one of one of the really hottest economies uh, since the end of the pandemic. All right, Jared, thanks for jumping on with us with those numbers this morning. Spokesperson for the Department of Workforce Services, Jared. Man- Hall. Unified police officers are looking for a woman who drove off after a hit-and-run crash that injured two kids a few weeks ago in Mill Creek. KSL TV's Garna Mejia met with the kid's mom, Blanca Ramirez, and reports. She just told me. But then they take off. Police are hoping the public can help them identify the woman. She could face charges for fleeing the scene of an accident. As for the children, Blanca says they're grateful to be okay, but concerned about the driver. Anyone with information is encouraged to call Unified Police. 709, time for us to get a look at The Drive. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy, looks like things are moving well in Draper. Yep, uh, so far so good. No yet, uh, not seeing any delays yet as you head to uh, downtown. But if you're coming out of Tooele, you got a little bit of slowing in Sansbury Park and at the Lake Point uh, Saddleback Boulevard intersection. 201 starting to wait a little bit at 7200 West and Mag. These are all very minor slowdowns, though. Heather? Well, the delays are increasing on southbound I-15 through Box Elder County. This is running along the area of the Brigham City Airport. It's just before you get to SR-13 exit that'll take you either to Corinne or the north end of Brigham City. I haven't still heard of what is causing these delays, but you're going to have to add a few extra minutes to your commute if you go that direction. Now, most of the traffic is trying to get between Davis County and Salt Lake City, and right now, no delays on I-15, US-89, or Legacy Parkway. Eric. Harley's Canyon driving, not too bad this morning if you're on I-80 heading out to the Kimball Junction exit. If you're westbound, uh, coming from Jeremy Ranch up over the top of Parley, so it looks like we got some slow-moving vehicles there. Along the 215 East Belt, northbound, uh, that's looking good. And Foothill Drive, no delays right now, heading up to the University of Utah. Crossroads of the West Gun Show returns this weekend to the Mountain America Expo Center. Great deals on guns, ammo, and accessories, plus buy, sell, or trade at the show. This is the big one. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL hourly forecast. We've got cloudy skies expected today. At 7 a.m., temperatures right around 40 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Not a bad start. Into the lunch hour, we'll be into the 50s, but mostly cloudy. We keep those clouds around through the afternoon, but the temperatures running 5 degrees warmer than yesterday at 64. From the KSL Weather Center, 
I'm Matt Johnson. Sun's going to be up any minute right now in Salt Lake City. It's 41 degrees. The big new movie is called The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Wow. We'll talk uh, with Andy about it in a moment here on KSL. <laughs> That's hard to put on a movie poster. <laughs> Salt Lake City School District students will soon be getting presentations that explain the new state bathroom policy requiring people to use the bathroom of the gender they were assigned at birth. But uh, some parents think it should be handled differently. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has the story. Parents at Emerson Elementary, like Kristen Kinjo, were informed their kids would be shown a slideshow explaining the new rules. The school gave them the time and the option for their students to skip if they felt it was best. More than half of the fourth grade class is already, I mean, they were all planning on not letting their kids attend in the first place. District spokesperson Yandri Chatwin says other schools may be implementing the law differently, but they felt this was the best way to fulfill the law as it was written. An email wouldn't have sufficed, a flyer wouldn't have either, and we wanted to make sure there was consistency in the messaging that one teacher didn't deliver a message one way and it, you know at a different school kids were hearing things a different way. She says anyone with questions or the need for an accommodation can reach out to their school's principal. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. The Utah Board of Education is working out the details on a new law that deals with books with objectionable materials. The new law allows books to be removed from schools statewide if that removal is approved by at least three school districts or two districts and five charter schools. As of right now, the districts are in charge of what they want to have in their schools, what they don't want to have in sports. There is some overarching guidance on that. However, the LEA is the deciding entity when it comes to whether or not it meets that threshold. Utah Board of Education spokesperson Sharon Turner says as of right now, no books have been removed statewide and there are still a lot of things the board has to figure out before the law goes into effect on July 1st. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. Almost 2,000 fencing competitors will descend on Salt Lake City next week to fight for the final five spots on the U.S. Olympic team. Oh, wow. Uh, fencers and who, what, help me with that, parafencers? I guess that is the uh, yes, right. Paralympic uh, version of it, who use wheelchairs, by the way, will also be competing to claim the title of North American champion. That's so cool. Are they doing it at the Salt Palace? I don't know. Hmm. A report out this morning outlines what most Utahns would consider to be their dream home. You ready for that? It would be in a suburban setting with a patio or a deck and includes a home theater. You live in our dream home, Tim. <laughs> yes, and actually mine's for sale. Yeah. So if you have $2 million <laughs> and would like to move in, I'll move out. The survey from the assurance company also says a cherry on top would be the home having a unique architectural style. Trending this hour on the 7 o'clock report, Taylor Swift's latest album dropped last night. It's the Tortured Poets Department, and it's her 11th studio album. When it dropped, she announced a surprise. It's a secret double album. It was 2 o'clock in the morning when that uh, X post came out. Wow. There are 15 extra songs. She announced it on X saying, now the story isn't mine anymore. It's yours. Mm. And the first single from it is uh, something she's doing with... Post Malone. That is so cool. So the Posties and the Swifties are she, uniting today. She is prolific. Uh, a new but old school kind of app is dominating the App Store. The free Delta Game Emulator app lets users download a software that emulates original games from vintage systems like Atari to Xbox and PlayStation. They're calling to me with that yeah. <laughs> as a kid. KSL News Time 715. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Ryan Smith is taking his time to name his new hockey team, which could start next season without a nickname. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, the Utah Board of Education is working out the details on a new law that deals with books with objectionable materials. Third, it's traffic and weather together. I-15 traffic is still off to a good start, whether you're in Davis or Salt Lake counties. A lot of more uh, traffic on the city streets, especially west of the freeway in Clearfield and Roy. Uh, and in the Salt Lake Valley, not as much as usual through West Valley or uh, West Jordan. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds are rolling in today. We'll call it mostly cloudy and 64. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 39 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a check of our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Apparent retaliation overnight as Israel appears to strike back. Explosions were heard and some drones spotted in the central Iranian city of Isfahan, home to a military base and a nuclear facility, but no direct confirmation on the strikes from the Israeli government. ABC's Tom Rivers is at the foreign desk. The video shows the site where everything appears to be normal. Nothing reportedly hit or damaged. Iran is said to have fired air defense batteries as explosives. 
explosions could be heard near a major air base near Isfahan. Meanwhile, the UN nuclear watchdog, the IAEA, confirms there is no damage to any of Iran's nuclear sites. In Tel Aviv, here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Overnight flights to Tehran, Isfahan, and Shrian were suspended but have since resumed, and Iranian media is soon switching to showing video of business as usual in Isfahan. Syrian state media also reporting that Israel targeted its air defenses in the country's south. G7 foreign ministers meeting in Italy say they support Israel's security and a de-escalation of the conflict. A jury has now been seated in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial. Here's ABC's Aaron Katursky. Seven men and five women have been sworn in to claim their place in American history as jurors in the first criminal trial of a former president. They include an investment banker who follows Trump on social media, a speech therapist who said she does not agree with a lot of his politics, a school teacher who said she admires how President Trump speaks his mind, and a woman in product development who said, I don't like his persona how he presents himself in public. All of them, though, pledged to give Trump a fair shake. Four Democrats on the House Rules Committee say they will support House Speaker Mike Johnson's move to separate the $95 billion aid package for Israel and Ukraine into four separate bills. Tesla's recalling all the 3,800 cyber trucks it shipped so far because of a problem with the accelerator pedal. You're listening to ABC News. All right, it's time to talk movies. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. They're all... The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Quite a name. A uh, big movie this weekend. It features the first ever special forces organization formed during World War II. Am I going to like it, Andy? Uh, probably. I mean, it's uh, Guy Ritchie, so if you like his style of action movies, and it's got Henry Cavill with the full beard and mustache. That's Superman, if you didn't remember. Uh, Alan Richson, just giant of a guy, and a bunch of others. They're... They get a job to do serious damage to the German U-boat supply port off the coast of Africa. If they're successful, it'll make it much easier for the United States to finally join the Allied war effort. Uh, so this is kind of early in World War II before the U.S. has joined up. So these are all uh, Brits and Swedes and Europeans that are assigned to go do this. And uh, I, I mean, it's based on true events. That's what it says at the beginning of the movie, which usually means some heavy <laughs> doses of artistic license. <laughs> Which include the most accurate gun and arrow shooting that you've ever seen. Like, if if any of them had to spend more than one shot to dispatch somebody, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But it's that style. So, I mean, nobody was there on the mission. It was all unsanctioned. In fact, nobody knew that this group existed until the documents were declassified in 2016. So this is kind of a newer story that not many people knew about. But uh, it's fun. It, you know, it's uh, it's rated R. It's got, it's got violence, but... Uh, it's kind of an artistic, n not like high art, but like stylistic, I guess, is a better way. Isn't Guy Ritchie kind of known for having some graphic stuff in his movies or no? Uh, sometimes, but this isn't one of those. Um, it's, I don't know, I'd say it's played more for fun. One of my things is they made it look too easy. <laughs> I kept thinking, all right, when's it going to get harder for them? Because they just dispatch everybody with such ease that uh, I was actually kind of surprised that there wasn't some big giant boss battle at the end. Hmm. I, th I think we're going to have to go because Henry Cavill, I just love him. And to see him in a role like this, I think it'd be fun. Yeah, and, and he does have some fun with it. He's uh, <laughs> he's he's interested in, he's interested in uh, he likes one of the uh, the SS officer's leather coats, and he keeps talking about it till he finally <laughs> takes one for himself. <laughs> All right, uh, where are you going to be today? Uh, we're going to be at Minky Couture in Layton. And, hey, we have our movie show question, listener response question of the week. I always want to get your guys' opinions on this. What's a movie that you walked out of or wished you had walked out of? Oh, I, I walked out of that. This is the same answer as my answer to your question last time. Was it Tenet? Is that what it was yeah, called? It was oh, okay. That's I right. You did say that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, because after an hour into it, I looked at my husband. And I said, do you have any idea what's going on here? Well, and here's the honest truth from me, and this will tell you more about how tight I am with my money. I never have walked out of a movie. Oh, I've walked out of a Because you paid for it? Because I paid good <laughs> money to sit there. Do you know what else I walked out of, Andy? What? 11 Years a Slave. Really? It was That was such Too heavy. brutal violence that I just started crying, and, and I was crying. My husband said, no, no, no. You know what? No, this is our date night, and we can leave now. Mm-hmm. So that was That's a one. good, sensitive man. Yeah, he was. He, he yeah. takes good care he of does, you, Amanda. He really does. Mine is Invaders from Mars, 1986. I chose to sit in a 110-degree car rather than finish the last 10 minutes of the movie because I was so freaked out. Oh, wow. I have a hard time living up to Aaron on a regular basis <laughs> in here. So, 
Uh, anyway, another notch there. Let's uh, shift <laughs> gears here and talk traffic. It's uh, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Back to you, Andy. Amanda, it's looking good this morning on the Valley Drive. Uh, we haven't had any weather affect the roads. We haven't really had a whole lot of traffic affect the roads. No crashes still in the Salt Lake Valley. So enjoy full speeds uh, towards Salt Lake City. Heather? Whatever is happening in Box Elder County, it's still there. And you have significant delays southbound I-15 as you leave Honeyville. Try to get to the Corinne turn turnoff that's SR 13 so pretty big delays through there I still have no idea why lane restrictions could be an accident but whatever it is you've got to add a good five to ten minutes now to your commute through that stretch once you get past it you're going to be at good speeds the entire way into downtown Salt Lake City haven't had a whole lot of problems on the city streets some congestion but nothing excessive Eric Mountain View corridor northbound from SR 73 in Utah County getting slow as you get closer to Redwood roads and then once you get past that Redwood intersection and continue eastbound on 2100 north. It's a little bit better now getting over to the freeway. Pioneer Crossing, nothing like yesterday. It's actually a pretty decent drive from Saratoga Springs over to American Fork. And I-15, Utah County, that's looking good throughout from Provo and Orem up to Thanksgiving Point. You don't really have any delays. Spring into performance with Jody Wilkinson's new Acura MDX. All-wheel drive and safety never looked so good. Leases at 589 monthly. Details, text Acura to 575 Zero, zero. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 8 forecast has nothing but 60s and 70s. It's smooth sailing, folks. 64 today. The change to the forecast today is we're going to add clouds. We'll go mostly cloudy through the afternoon. 70 tomorrow, partly cloudy. Sunday looks great. 75, partly cloudy skies. Into Monday, looks like a dry, cool front. Mostly sunny, 69. Not bad. 76 on Tuesday, partly cloudy. We keep that sunshine with a couple of clouds. On Wednesday, high of 78. 71 mostly cloudy by Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Sun's up. 41 degrees now downtown. And the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Dave and Dujanovic will be kicking off their Sunday shoes and uh, <laughs> cutting a rug in Payson. And they'll be at Payson High School this morning at 9 o'clock because tomorrow is when Kevin Bacon comes back to town for their high school prom, the last one in that building. Yeah. Look forward to that. Fun hearing this morning about all the preparations they've had to do. I mean, I remember uh, as a student body officer, you were in charge of organizing things for prom. Yeah. It was a nightmare. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine all of the logistics if Kevin Bacon is going to be making an appearance. Because they'll have, I'm sure they'll have national media there. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, talk more about that. Look forward to it with Dave and Debbie coming up at 9. We're looking forward to seeing what's happening with the money news just ahead of the opening bell. So stay with us. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. Willow Creek Financial Services is a woman-owned business that understands the unique challenges that come with small business ownership, especially when it comes to managing finances. Founder and CEO Lauren Klafke joins us with more. Are you a small business owner who feels overwhelmed when looking at your financial reports? Are you looking for a reliable accounting support system that understands your unique needs? Willow Creek Financial Services is here to help. I started this business in 2019 to support the small business owners that weren't in the corporate scope. We provide fractional CFO services that allow owners to have financial clarity and confidence in their work. Most of our clients are business owners who were previously confused by their finances or overwhelmed by the thought of trying. We help people figure out what they want their business to do for them in the short term and the long term, and then we provide them with a roadmap to make that happen. If you want more than a bookkeeper, come to Willow Creek Financial Services. We're your accountants and your cheerleaders all in one. Whether you're a new entrepreneur aiming to scale your company or a small business owner looking for reliable accounting services, Willow Creek Financial Services is equipped to help. For more information, visit their website. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. 
Finally. With wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi. Only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, that's 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. We are watching Utah's Money on KSL News Radio, and it's brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Trader Joe's is issuing a recall once again. The Infinite Herbs Organic Basil is believed to have been infected or have infected at least 12 people with salmonella. At least one was hospitalized. Yeah. Wayfair is branching out, offering a new way to shop. The online furniture store going to open its first ever physical store in Illinois next month. It'll be 150,000 square feet. No word on if that's just the first of many. Let's get a look at your money at this moment. Dow, uh, let's see, futures are up 25. S&P futures down 4. The Nasdaq futures down 54. And as far as your uh, drive goes, we've got a crash westbound 800 north in Orem heading into uh, or heading from I-15 over to the Geneva Road. We'll check that next. My name is Case Lawrence, and I'm running for Congress. My wife and I are the parents of six wonderful kids, and now we have two beautiful grandkids. We raised our kids right here in Utah and have always felt like Utah is the best place in America to have a family. More than anything, I'm running for Congress to make sure that doesn't change. I hope you'll join me. I'm Case Lawrence and I approve this message. Paid for by Case for Congress. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off. Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. The Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. At the heart and soul of the Larry H. Miller Company is the connection between people and the places they share. Because we believe that life takes place. Places for families to live, to laugh, and to heal. Places where recreation meets innovation. Places where entrepreneurship is blended with stewardship. Places built on the value of relationships. From the top of our minds to the bottom of our hearts, we're fully invested and fully committed to making the places that will enrich lives for generations to come. Time again for traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? Well, we're looking pretty good on I-15. Still clear from Draper to downtown. It's starting to fill in on Bangor in South Jordan and uh, on Mountain View in West Valley, but still clear in Tooele. Heather? It's a solid wall of traffic southbound I-15 in Box Elder County. This is leaving Honeyville heading toward the Corinne and Box Elder turnoff at SR-13. Other than that, you're going to have good drive through Weber and Davis counties. Eric? We got one uh, crash over on 800 North in Orem, uh, heading uh, just right underneath the freeway, practically I-15. And this is uh, heading westbound over to Geneva Road. And it uh, looks like uh, you've got like one right lane getting by uh, that whole area. So I just expect some slowdowns if that's uh, where you usually go this time of the morning. I-15 looks good throughout Utah County from Provo to Point of the Mountain. That's 20-minute drive. The best kept secret is this is the pass. It's a pass for fun for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass level. 362 days of fun. Visit thisisthepass.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. It's going to be a beautiful day. We'll have a few clouds, but a high of 64, 70 tomorrow, 75 on Sunday. Right now, 41 downtown. 
You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 7:30. KSL's top story this hour: Professional hockey in Utah could have some benefits uh, for when we likely host the 2034 Olympics. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with details. Adam. Amanda, Utah's Olympic Bid Committee President and CEO Fraser Bullock tells me this new team helps us in a couple of ways. For one, we need to at least add some more seats to the Delta Center, even if we don't get that new arena downtown. Expanding the arena with uh, several thousand seats that we could have, that's millions of dollars. Bullock says we all also don't see the NHL's best uh, players in the Olympics, and having a team here makes it more likely that they will participate. If that new arena downtown is built, it could give us some flexibility. Bullock says it would help, but for now, we do already have events planned for the Delta Center, the Maverick Center, and Peaks Ice Arena once again in 2034. Live at the Delta Center, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman gave an interview to the NHL Network last night after it was announced that Utah was getting a team. Here's a portion of what he had to say. The goal was to preserve hockey to the extent we could in Arizona and establish a new franchise in Utah. So the Coyotes are going to be inactive Mm -hmm. um, with the right to reactivate when a new building is built within the next five years. And the players and hockey operations are going to be shifted to Utah. And Ryan Smith and his partners are going to own and operate that. And the team will play in the Delta Center. And that's the key. It's the establishment of a new franchise. It's not a relocation. It's not an expansion team. Essentially, that's the way it goes. It's really kind of a hybrid because we're not, we're taking a pause in Arizona so that we can get a new building there. But what, what really was underlying all of this was what we thought was going to be a temporary facility, meaning mullet, and thank you to ASU for sharing the facility with us. Uh, We were looking under a best case of another three to five years. It wasn't appropriate for the league. It's not a major league building, and it wasn't fair to the players. Bettman says it should take two summers after uh, this year to renovate the Delta Center so it has 17,000 unobstructed seats for hockey. Two of Utah's congressmen are pushing a bill they hope will block undocumented immigrants from boarding planes. KS on News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with a story, Peter. Amanda, Representative Burgess Owens has added his name to a bill that would stop airlines from accepting certain immigration documents as ID. The bill takes aim especially at an app called CBP-1, which allows immigrants to set up an appointment with customs ahead of landing at a U.S. port of entry. Owens says in a statement that this is a, quote, double standard because he says American citizens face more strict airport security standards around ID. Now, Utah Senator Mike Lee is also running a companion bill to this, and he has argued that this makes the U.S. less safe. Other leaders, like Washington Senator Patty Murray, on the other hand, say the app follows allows more of a heads-up to law enforcement. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. First look, traffic. Andy, how are things? Well, right now, if you're on I-15, the drive is still uh, in good shape. Salt Lake, Davis, and Utah counties. There's a big delay coming south towards Brigham City on I-15 because of a pretty big crash. And then one underneath the freeway, 800 north in Orem, affecting people exiting the freeway northbound particularly. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Parts of the Jordan River Trail are closed due to high water levels, and it might stay that way for a while. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit joins us live. Michael? Amanda, our snowpack is sitting at 130% of normal, and Utah Lake is at a level where it can't store any more water, meaning the gates are open and water is flowing into the Jordan River. County officials tell the Salt Lake Tribune we'll see peak flows along the river's tributaries sooner than usual. Ideally, as things warm up, we'll see warmer days get checked by cooler days so snow doesn't melt all at once. Still, officials say be careful and keep your kids and pets away from any waterfronts along the river as the snow melts. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. This is interesting. Could an ultrasound help cure addictions? A team of researchers at the U of U thinks so. Prof- professor of psychiatry at Huntsman Mental Health Institute, Dr. Brian uh, Mickey, says by using an ultrasound machine on a patient's brain, they can target the addiction pathways. We're kind of going to the source of the problem, which are these deep brain circuits that we know are involved in addiction and. The research team was awarded over $2 million in funding to further their work by the global health nonprofit organization, Welcome Leap. 
You may have seen the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile this week, hot dogging it down the highway. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson reports. The iconic giant hot dog on wheels rolled into Salt Lake City to showcase the rebranded Wiener Mobile after a brief name change to the Frank Mobile. Barbecue Braden Schroeder says we really do relish the name Wienermobile, and we're glad it's back. So we are back to the Wienermobile. Everyone is happy about it, we will say. But over the summer, we got to celebrate our summer as the Frankmobile, traveling because of our new recipe for the all-beef franks, which I will say are delicious. Braden and the Wienermobile grilled out on Thursday in Sugar House, and today they'll be camping out at KOA Utah. Go on our website to track exactly where else the Wienermobile will be this week. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Why'd they change it from Wienermobile in the first place? I have no idea. Someone offended by that? I have no, no hmm. idea. It was it was doomed to fail. The co-founder of the Allman Brothers has died at age 80. Dickie Betts played lead guitar for the Allman Brothers band and also wrote and sang lead on some of their biggest hits. Including their only top ten, Ramblin' Man. He co-founded the band in 1969 with brothers Dwayne and Greg Allman, and the group, known for their southern fried jams, would eventually get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. But drugs and alcohol caused rifts in the group. There were a couple of splits, and Betts was officially booted in 2000. We're told he died at his home in Florida, surrounded by family. Dickie Betts was 80 years old. Jason Anenson, ABC News. That was the soundtrack of my youth. And Amanda Dixon knows every word to that song. <laughs> I do. We have a, another crash in North Orem. This one at the ramp from 1600 North to northbound I-15. We'll check it coming up next. KSL in the palm of your hand. When the app came out, I knew that I could stream the radio station directly through there. I just checked there to see if there's anything pertinent. I regularly use the KSL app. Get the app for KSL News Radio. Transform your backyard now with a relaxing Bullfrog Spa featuring our patented and fully customizable Jetpack Therapy System. This week at Bullfrog Spa's factory stores, you'll get unbeatable deals, including deep discounts on refurbished and clearance hot tubs and swim spas. For a backyard makeover at a fraction of the cost, come in and save big on premium Bullfrog Spas with up to $4,000 off MSRP and up to 30% off clearance spas with special financing available. Sale ends Monday. Bullfrog Spas. Peaceful body, peaceful mind, peaceful home. Sometimes owning a small business means making big upgrades. Make them happen with a small business equipment loan from Cypress Credit Union. For a limited time, get a rate discount of 0.50% APR and make the most of affordable credit union rates. Let Cypress help you purchase or upgrade your commercial equipment today. Apply online at cypresscu.com. Cypress Credit Union, your future is Federally insured by NCUA. Equal opportunity lender. Gillette Heating and Air Conditioning is offering spring air conditioner tune-ups for only $59. Call 385-GET-COOL to schedule today. A carrier factory authorized dealer. Howdy, folks. It's me again. And surprise, it's tomato frenzy time at J&J Garden Center in Layton. Right now, all large size tomato plants are only $2.99 each. That's half price and grown from seed right here at J&J. And while you're here, pick up a bag or two of J&J's private label all-purpose premium topsoil to help strengthen your vegetable garden for only $5.98 a cubic foot bag. So come to the tomato frenzy sale at J&J Garden Center in Layton, where they have the best products at the best price and the best employees, too. Take the Layton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then west two miles. You got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home. J&J Garden Center. You know, there's another angle on this uh, NHL hockey story that we maybe hadn't thought about, but Fraser Bullock uh, said it well, that if you, ex and it makes sense, if you expand some extra seats, mm -hmm. unobstructed view of hockey at the Delta Center, it's going to mean millions of dollars in more tickets to be sold mm -hmm. for the Olympics in 2034. Oh, yes, right, right. So benefits down the road. It's uh, part of the story we're following up on this morning. 739, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. And right now, if you're on I-15, that drive is uh, still clear from Draper to downtown, but volumes have increased a bunch. Uh, SR-201 actually does have some brake lights, 21st South Freeway near Bangor Highway. Mountain View's backed up between 41 and 3500 South in particular. Heather? The biggest issue for Box Elder Davis, Box Elder County drivers is southbound I-15 
trying to get from Honeyville down to the SR23 a turnoff that'll take you to Corinne or into Brigham City, uh, that you have stop and go traffic for uh, almost a mile in that area. Otherwise, things are looking good on the other major freeways in Weber and Davis counties, but city streets are getting crowded in Ogden. Eric. Well, we got one crash over on 800 North in Orem as you work your way from I-15 over to Geneva Road. This is westbound. And it looks like they may not, if you're uh, northbound on I-15, it looks like they may not let you use that exit ramp to go in that direction. We have a report of another ramp crash at 1600 North and Orm, but haven't been able to find that on cameras. Don't see any delays. In fact, you're delay-free still from Spanish Fork to Point of the Mountain. That's a 16-minute drive in Utah County. Don't miss the Bedrock Quartz bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertop sinks and more. Visit bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Hey, five degrees warmer today with highs in the mid-60s and mostly cloudy skies. Overnight, we're going 43, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, 70, partly cloudy skies, but up to 75 by Sunday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, you know, it says mostly cloudy. Well, I guess there's a few out there, uh, but plenty of sunshine, 41 degrees. We're taking you to Payson High School, where our reporter Eric Cabrera is standing by because Kevin Bacon's coming to town. That's coming up next. But first, Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, and it's brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. For anyone who's ever gone into the family business, I know the tightrope you walk. You have to deal with your parents' expectations every day, and you have to prove that you're your own man or woman. Among the people who walk that tightrope were two guys whose family business was the Beatles. Yesterday, hey Jude. Sean Lennon and James McCartney are middle-aged now. For background, no matter which of their fathers wrote those legendary Beatles songs, the songwriting credit always went to Lennon-McCartney. That was the ultimate badge of songwriting excellence. Like the nameplate Mercedes or a Louis Vuitton stamp on a handbag. And now there's a new Lennon-McCartney collaboration. The Sons, James McCartney and Sean Lennon have co-written a song sung by Paul McCartney's middle-aged child. Listen. We laid on Primrose Hill Didn't know it still You meant what you said Maybe you're hearing faint echoes of the Beatles. Or maybe you're just saying, meh. This, Lennon and McCartney, have taken some online heat for failing to carve their own paths in life. But another Beatle baby, Ringo's son, Zach, is responding to the critics. Zach Starkey has played drums with The Who. We don't get fooled again. Zach Starkey has lived this and says you have to make your own peace with your parents' legacy. You can't go around it. You have to go through. And that's this song from the other Lennon and McCartney. Only on KSL News Radio. Brought to you again today by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. IRS harassing you? The law offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit taxhelput.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed, I was out of work, combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected, and I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something, never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. 79 missionaries trapped and penniless inside Germany borders with war days away. From director T.C. Christensen comes Escape from Germany in theaters now. Tickets at EscapeFromGermany.com. KSL News Time, 745. The three things you need to know this hour. First, two Utah congressmen are pushing bills they hope will keep undocumented immigrants from boarding commercial planes. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, the NHL commissioner says renovations at the Delta Center for Hockey should take two years, creating 17,000 unobstructed seats. 
third traffic and weather together. Traffic on I-15 uh, still in good shape, at least between Ogden and Salt Lake, but a little bit north of Brigham City, we've got a pretty big southbound delay trying to get to Brigham City. Uh, Utah County, we've got a crash underneath the freeway on 800 North in Orem. It's uh, been affecting drivers getting off and trying to go underneath to the west. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds today with highs in the 60s, then 70s for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 41 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. This is a special report from ABC News. Israel retaliates. I'm Sherry Preston. Israel responding to Iran's first direct attack on the country by striking inside Iran. The Biden administration has been urging Israel to slow things down. ABC News Chief Global Affairs Correspondent Martha Raddatz is at the Capitol. She says Iran has said it would decide when and how to respond. Officials had also said just days ago the strike would not happen until after Passover, which begins Monday for eight days. But either that was a ruse in order to have tactical surprise, or they simply saw a window of opportunity last night. But there had been a flurry of diplomatic action from the U.S. and others, so Israel would not launch massive retaliatory attacks, which would likely have caused Iran to immediately respond. And so far, that seems to have worked. The strike in the central Iranian city of Isfahan, which houses a military base and nuclear facility, G7 foreign leaders meeting in Italy say they had no involvement in any offensive operations. This is ABC News. All right, you ready to put your Sunday yes. shoes oh, on? Yes. Now gotta cut loose. Kevin Bacon's the headliner at this weekend's prom. What? At Pace in High School. It's part of the celebration of the 40th anniversary of the movie Footloose, and they wanted to throw a big party before the school gets torn down. Uh, KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is on his way to Pace in High School, joins us live to talk about the big weekend. Eric, we've enjoyed your reporting on all of the preparations that have gone on behind the scenes. It sounds like they've been busy. That's right, Tim. Uh, It's a beautiful morning. I just want to point out here in Payson, I made it. The sun is shining and it it really feels like the spring weather we love this time of year. And I got to admit, I've lived in Utah now 21 years this year. And yes, this is my first time in Payson. Uh, Driving in on the way to Payson High School, I I get a small town vibe which makes me feel like tomorrow's big day with Kevin Bacon is going to change all that. Uh, It's business as usual here. Uh, One thing I didn't mention earlier that's been a key factor of the preparation for the big day is the involvement of Kevin Bacon's nonprofit Six Degrees, who have been working diligently this week purchasing needed items and supplies, uh, packing those items for students and getting them to the school, but also helping with the actual logistics of how the event is going to run. Uh, Everything from where people will sit, how Kevin Bacon and his security team will safely get in, move around, and ultimately make his long-awaited appearance. But beyond that, it's also been a huge undertaking partnering with law enforcement, faculty, and ultimately the goal is to try and make sure as many people have access for the event as they can, as well as everyone having a safe experience here for the big day. Do you know- live from Payson High School, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Eric, it's it's exciting. We'll have more reports from you, but I was I was going to ask Eric, I know he's probably gone now about how much national media I wonder is there. Of course, we're all over it because it's it's Utah, but I've seen stories about this on national media, haven't you too? Yeah, and on our visit there cuz we were there uh, broadcasting as part of our KSL in the community, mm-hmm. we didn't have a chance or I didn't, I don't know that you did either to go into the gym. But how big could this old gym, gym be yeah. at Payson? Right. And then think about the crush of people that are going to be in there. That's going to be a tight squeeze. Right. Just that of, in and of itself. And remember, that prom is about the seniors. Yeah. So let's let's let the students send their dates in. <laughs> well, one way or the other, it's going to be one, uh, you know, that they'll always remember for sure. for sure. But what an exciting time. Just a reminder, coming up a little more than an hour from now, Dave and Dujanovic will be broadcasting live. They're just outside the office, I'm sure. We'll look forward to that at 9. That's the in-depth at 15 and 45. All right, 749. Time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay App. Save up to 20 cents a gallon, Andy. And we've got traffic slowing a little bit on I-15 now. As you cross 215 in Murray, we've got some delays along Bangor at 47th and 35th South where people are now having to wait. Mountain View, it's your usual delay through the West Valley portion. Better than usual on 201, but you will have to slow a little bit between Bangor and 215. Heather? Weber and Davis County drivers will have no problems on any of the major freeways, I-84, I-15, Legacy Parkway, but you will have some congestion on city streets in Ogden and Roy. And then further north in Box Elder County, we've got big delays. Southbound I-15, as you leave Honeyville, try to get to the Corinne and north end of Brigham City turnoff. Still don't know why. I'm going to guess an accident, but you've got almost stopped traffic there. 
Eric. 800 north traffic in Orem heading west from I-15 over to Geneva Road. Well, that's going to be a little bit slower than usual because you've got a crash and uh, one car was tipped over on its side. Now, it looks like they're about to release some more lanes, but right at the moment, uh, still just one lane going through there. If you're on I-15, Utah County, that looks good. Uh, getting over to the freeway out from Redwood Road, you've got slowdowns on 2100 north this morning as you get closer to the freeway. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on Fifth South and Bountiful. Durden's brands you know and prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Pardon me, Eric. Uh, Tim's cracking me up. I was just sharing part of the uh, comedy act we saw last night at uh, <laughs> Wise Guys. Things that can't be done on the radio. No, no. Uh, the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning. It's Friday energy out there, folks. Uh, we've got uh, mostly cloudy skies expected today, but temperature's nice. Up five from yesterday. We'll go 64. 70 tomorrow and 75 on Sunday with more sunshine. Ah, that's what we're talking about. 69, mostly sunny due to a dry cool front on Monday, but don't you worry, we'll bounce back Tuesday, Wednesday, mid and upper 70s, only to fall back on the roller coaster to 71 on Thursday, mostly cloudy skies. Really, though, considering the ups and downs of this seven-day stretch, that's pretty pretty good looking. Yeah. Uh, we're a little behind in the rain bucket, though, aren't we, this month? Yeah, only a third in the bucket. We expect about over two inches this month. Oh, oh good. So. so it's still coming. Hopefully. Uh, right now, not bad. And, you know, keep your rain for the weekend. We like it just the way it is. But 43 degrees now downtown. UCCU is where I bank, Utah Community Credit Union, and I do it for a lot of reasons, but one of them is they are always creating new and innovative ways to protect my money and to help me, and one that they have right now that I just love is called the Credit Score Toolbox. Think about how important your credit score is mm -hmm. uh, and all the things that it means to you and your families, your ability to buy things you need, not always what you want, mm -hmm. but what you need, and particularly when it comes to a home or a decent car right. you can count on. And a good credit score can save your family thousands and thousands of dollars. Now this tool can actually help you do everything. First of all, just checking uh, your credit score. But the other thing is if you find something in there that's dinging your credit, there is an error dispute portal that really simplifies the process of any inaccuracies, get, uh, getting those inaccuracies off your credit report. And there's a simulator. So if you want to take out an, a loan for $20,000, you can type it in and say, okay, what would happen to my credit score if I took out a loan for $20,000? And it will tell you, well, that's what would happen. The credit score toolbox is available right now, and it's free if you have UCCU's elevated checking. Just stop by any branch. Utah Community Credit Union. You're going to love where you bank. Discover the best of senior living at Trio Orem and Trio South Ogden. Today's older adults aren't wrapping up their life's journey. They're seeking a new one. And Trio Independent Living is here to help them do just that. With a smart, modern, and connected lifestyle, residents cultivate relationships and maximize independence through signature programs like Prime Fit Wellness that bring living well and well-being to life. Welcome to the new age of senior living. Schedule your visit at leisurecare.com slash Utah today. The season of adventure is finally here, and it's time to take your adventures to a new level in an RV from a Motorsportsland RV Center. Enjoy the breathtaking destinations right here in Utah without leaving the comforts of your new home on wheels. Hurry in now and check out our limited supply of 2023 model closeouts at huge discounts. Save almost $15,000 off MSRP on our 2023 Prowler 265BHX for only $24,995 with zero down payment options under $300 a month OAC or $10,000 off our 2023 ROG 10MC Toy Hauler for only $16,995 with zero down payment options under $200 a month OAC. At Motorsportsland RV Centers, we offer real prices without hidden fees for freight, prep, orientation, or even propane. See details and more amazing deals on premium RV models at motorsportsland.com. Let Motorsportsland help you get away. Motorsportsland.com. Advanced window products. Factory direct. Affordable windows. Call today. They're on their way. Financing available. Save now. Pay later. Advancedwindows.com. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. First mobile phones were small, then they got huge, and now they're getting small again. The new iPhone 17 Plus is rumored to be smaller than the iPhone 15 Plus. Apple's been experimenting with phone sizes since the release of the iPhone 6 all the way back in 2014. 
sometime in the next few days or even hours, the miners who mine Bitcoin out of a complex mathematics formula are going to take a 50% pay cut, effectively slicing new prediction of the world's largest cryptocurrency in half. This next halving, and it's happened several times before, will be, oh, there it is, only the fourth to take place since the digital currency's 2009 launch. Heard a report this morning when Bitcoin first came out, you could get it for 13 bucks. Yeah, it's, but it's, and aren't they projecting it to go over 60,000 now? 60, 70, it's been to 70. Oh, wow. It, but it's, you know, wild swings. When it goes somewhere, it goes big. Let's see what's happening with the markets today. The Dow is actually in the green. It's up almost 180 points right now, half a percent. The S&P is up just a fraction, two and a half, but the uh, Nasdaq is down, losing 52 this hour. Show you what I know. Bitcoin's at 64,000 right now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and think if you bought it for 13. Oh, my gosh. We'd be retired. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, we would. We'll take another look at traffic and weather coming up next. I like daffodils, tulips, the big dinner plate dahlias. I loved being in the garden, but I wasn't going to be able to because I couldn't not only walk, but I couldn't really stand on my foot without being in pain. It was excruciating. So my husband said, let's go to the Good Feet store. For over 20 years, we've helped people like Terry live the life they love without letting their feet get in the way. This nice young man said, I think I can help you. He got the arch support, and I was fitted. And I kept walking back and forth across the store, and I looked at my husband and burst into tears because it was the first time in a year that I have not had any pain in my foot. I have had no pain since the day I bought him. Now I can do whatever I want. There isn't any place on my property that doesn't have flowers blooming 365 days a year. I still can't believe it. My name is Terry, and that's my Good Feet story. See what we can do for you with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Stop by the Good Feet Store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1 800 New Feet or visit goodfeet.com. Encounter an out of this world lunar landscape at Craters of the Moon and its 100th anniversary starting in May. Learn more at visitidaho.org. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at USPS.com advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. 759 Traffic and Weather Together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back over to you, Andy. Amanda, slowdowns on I-15. Only a little bit in South Salt Lake right now in the Salt Lake Valley. You've got a little bit of delay on the ramp from North 215 onto the 21st South Freeway. And some wait time at uh, Mountain View and 3500 South in West Valley trying to go north. Heather? Well, one of our listeners texted in to say the slowdowns we have southbound I-15 in Box Elder County is due to a massive accident. And we are seeing at least a mile to a mile and a half of nearly stop traffic leaving Honeyville trying to get into Corinne and the north end of Brigham City. That's the only problem though we have in northern Utah. Eric? Well, it looks like our crash is cleared on 800 north westbound uh, from I-15 over to uh, Geneva Road and for a time uh, that was blocking almost all the lanes but uh, really never caused any major slowdowns. Uh, if you have any volume out in Utah County uh, at this point of the morning it's uh, on, on 2100 north heading from Redwood Road over to the freeway and we still got that this morning. At least Pine your crossing's a better way to go than yesterday when we had a crash that was causing like three miles of backup. But right now, uh, you've got a decent drive from Saratoga Springs over to the freeway entrance points at, in American Fork. For over 30 years, Replenish Landscape has delivered the finest compost for flower and vegetable gardens. Replenish is perfect to till into existing soil or top dressing, even for your lawn. Learn more at replenishcompost.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. 64 today. How about 70 tomorrow and 70? 75 degrees coming on Sunday. Wow. 43 out there right now. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. 
Good morning. KSL News Time is 8 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Utah's new NHL team is the talk of the town and the entire sports world. But what happens next? KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our live team coverage. Adam? Amanda, we're hoping to get a little bit more information about the new team tonight, but for now, Utah is just taking it all in. The Delta Center has a big NHL logo up here this morning and a teaser message on the electronic board over the doors facing broadcast house. And uh, new Utah team center Logan Cooley told reporters what Utah fans have to look forward to this fall. We have a lot of young guys. We have a lot of bright futures. and. Um, you know, obviously we have guys on the team like Keller, uh, Schmaltz, Dersey, Kraus, that guys that have been around the league for a while and, um, you know, have proved themselves in this league. So we're an exciting team. And again, we are expecting to hear from the new owners of Utah's NHL team, Ryan and Ashley Smith, at a news conference tonight at 5 o'clock alongside NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. We'll have live coverage for you right here on KSL. And Utah's new hockey team could potentially go nameless for its first season. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston has more about why it continues our team coverage. Peter? Adam, new team owner Ryan Smith tells NHL.com the only thing that's sure for now is that it's going to be the Utah something and not necessarily Salt Lake City focused. I mean, there was a bunch out there. I saw the Utah Venom. I saw the Yetis, Utah Yeti with a killer logo. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. Smith says he doubts they'll have the time needed to settle on a chosen name, color, and mascot by the time the new season starts in October. For now, he's leaning on the creative group Doubleday and Cartwright, which NHL.com says worked on brand identities for Apple, Nike, and other pro sports teams. But Smith says this isn't going to last forever. It won't be a two-year wait, and fans can be ready to hear a name pretty soon. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. The Delta Center will be the hockey team's home this fall, and last night a website was set up to take $100 deposits for people wanting tickets, and in just two hours, Ryan Smith posted on social media that over 6,000 people had put money down to get on the waiting list. And then by last night, that number was 11,000 deposits. That's really awesome. We're curious what it might be this morning. Yeah. And all this hockey news, it's got to have an impact on the state's youth hockey leagues. Adam, have you looked into that? Yeah, I mean, the local hockey fans are really excited about the news. KSL TV caught up with a local hockey player, Adam McRae, at the Accord Ice Center in West Valley last night. Yeah, I think it's going to have a big impact on, like, Utah's hockey community. He says he fell in love with hockey in 2017, and now his sister is learning how to play goalie. He's expecting to see a huge jump in the number of kids playing hockey around the state with a new team moving into town. And remember to stay with KSL News Radio for the latest developments on this story. Again, we'll have live coverage for you tonight at 5 when that news conference happens. And, of course, coverage all the way until the puck drops for the first time at the Delta Center this fall. Live at the official new home of NHL hockey in Utah, the Delta Center, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. Iran says everything is normal after firing air defense missiles to protect a major air base and a nuclear site. Iran's Press TV reports. There were some loud sounds that were heard in the east of the city of Esfahan, and this was related to the air defense system, as uh, we told you and our viewers before, uh, triggered by the presence of three small drones uh, that were present in that area. Commercial flights that were previously canceled are back to normal. Tom Rivers, ABC News at the Foreign Desk. Protesters supporting people in Gaza continued to rally just off of Columbia University's campus last night after police made over 100 arrests. Protest organizer Raed tells ABC News the demonstrations will continue until the university heeds protesters' demands. Students were chemically attacked months ago. Nothing has come of the investigation. We are deeply unsafe as Arab, Muslim, and pro-Palestinian students, and they keep punishing us. They keep handing out disciplinary charges. We have not stopped. The student vowed to remain until the university divests from all Israel-related businesses. Boy, did I feel this. New parents can often get blindsided by how stressful raising a new child can be, and at times it can lead to abuse. Dr. Tegri Hui says that new parents need to establish a support system. The next step is establishing who your support network is, right? We talk about a safe person. It's actually safe people. So who are the people that you can reach out to and let them know? She also says new parents need to remember that crying is the only way for babies to express themselves. An inner office memo sent by President Grover Cleveland on the very day Utah became a state 
fetches some big money. Cleveland sent the memo on an 8-inch by 10-inch page to possibly then Secretary of State Richard Olney after signing Proclamation 382, the order admitting Utah as a U.S. state. The identity of the winning bidder was not disclosed, but it was the most money spent over $27,000 over the hundreds of items included in a fine autograph and artifacts collection that went up for auction last month. Emma Keddington, KSL News Radio. Let's get that first look traffic check here with Andy. And right now, if you're on uh, I-15, you've still got a little bit of slowing in South Salt Lake. You've got some southbound delays still in place uh, coming down uh, from Tremont and towards Brigham City from a crash. And uh, still have some delays on the west side of Salt Lake County, especially Mountain View near 3500 South. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The Utah Board of Education is working to try and figure out how to implement a new law that allows books with objectionable materials to be removed from schools statewide. A post on X claims the district has already removed several books. As of right now, no books have been removed statewide after July 1st. That is a possibility, but we have not yet figured out how we're going to implement that. Board of Education spokesperson Sharon Turner says there are a lot of things that have to happen between now and when the law goes into effect. She says as the board decides on those things, they will keep the local education agencies informed. Don Brinkerhoff. KSL News Radio. Students in the Salt Lake City School District will be getting presentations in the next few days about the state's new bathroom policy that goes to, into effect May 1st. But not everyone is happy about how it's being handled. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson explains. A recently passed law requires people in schools to use the bathroom of the gender they were assigned at birth. And Yandre Chatwin with the Salt Lake City School District says in order to comply, they have to inform all students about the change. Because the law asks us to notify all students, an email to parents wouldn't have sufficed. So we do have two different presentations that we're asking our schools to deliver. Kristen Kinjo, parent of a fourth grader at Emerson Elementary, says they're choosing to hold a dance party in protest at the time of the presentations. That any kids who are choosing not to participate in the in the presentation or any families who were pulling their kids out of the presentation would have somewhere to go where they felt where they felt loved. She thinks the presentations are wrong, especially since other school districts are handling it a different way. But Chatwin says they're just doing their best to implement the law as it's written. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. It looks like speeds are slowing down a little bit northbound I-15 around 33rd South. We'll find out what's going on there coming up next. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. You love the feel behind the wheel. You'll love the new 2024 Acura MDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 MDX only $589 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. You'll love the new 2024 Acura RDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 RDX Super Handling All-Wheel Drive only $459 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. 1111 South Main. Put the equity in your home to work with a home equity line of credit and get 6.49% APR for the first six months. Learn more at cypresscu.com. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally, with wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online, that's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi, only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, new customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, that's 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today.
KSL News Time, 809. Traffic and weather together again brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. We go back to Andy Farnsworth. Traffic looking mostly good on the freeways in Salt Lake County. Just a little bit of slowing at 33rd South and I-15. None on the 201 freeway any longer. Uh, but uh, Bangor are going uh, south off of 201 Heavy through West Valley as opposed to north like it usually is. Heather? Delays continue to plague Box Elder County drivers. This is southbound I-15 as you go past the Brigham City Airport. And it's right before you get to the turnoff of SR-13. It'll take you to Corinne or into Brigham City itself. The good news is that's the only delay I see in northern Utah on the major freeways, including I-15 into downtown Salt Lake and Legacy Parkway in the west side belt if you need to get to the airport. Eric. No real problems uh, getting into Park City this morning. Kearns Boulevard from US 40 looks good westbound. And if you're exiting I-80 at Kimball Junction southbound, 224, no problems. We do have a little bit of congestion on Foothill Drive getting back into the valley. Uh, northbound uh, from 1700 to 1300 south and a little bit uh, northbound from Sunnyside up to Mario Capegi. Down Utah County, the freeway looks solid from Santa Quinn to Point of the Mountain. Murdoch Hyundai, home of Tucson SEL, leased for only $375. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. The warming trend has started. We're going for 64 today, mostly cloudy skies. Overnight, 43, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, we've got sunshine, but a mix of clouds in there, high of 70. Sunday looks great, 75, and partly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Hazy sunshine out there this hour, 43 degrees. Are you done skiing for the year? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I put them away. I just want to I, make I don't sure. like the air brakes thing, you know? Oh, you, yeah. You're skiing along and, uh, <laughs> and you go into the shadows and you pick up speed and then you come out in the sunshine and... Yeah. <laughs> you go, I remember you know, right over the front of your skis. <laughs> yeah. We'll stay on top of the forecast, of course, uh, for you throughout the day here on KSL News Radio. Stay with us and remember to listen streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio. Utah's news traffic and weather station. We talk a lot about our friends at Les Olson IT and the sleepless nights that um, not a, just owners, but IT managers mm-hmm. may have. Can we focus this time on security? Sure. That also probably keeps bosses and owners up at night. And you may not know that from video surveillance all the way down, programs and uh, technology to help protect not just your uh, team there at the office, but also your customers comes from Les Olson. Right. I mean, Les Olson takes care of mom and pop shops and institutions of state government. I mean, it's all different sizes. And you might not know what's available that could protect you. And maybe even, in, you know, maybe it's just your data that needs protecting, but they have security for everything. They can show you an easy to use uh, app that uh, has unlimited cloud storage. It's secure and has high quality playback. A lot of this can be done from the comfort of your home mm-hmm. if you're a manager or an owner, and Les Olson IT can show you how. I mean, they even have facial recognition. They have license plate recognition. Whatever you need to feel secure, Les Olson can help you. There's a lot of big companies and sporting venues that use them today. Get to know Les Olson IT. They've got nine locations from Logan to Las Vegas. Just go to lesolson.com. Ooh, ma. What was that? That is business phone bliss with the UMA cloud phone system. It handles all our voice, video, and messaging needs. You sound very calm. I am. UMA has everything I need to run my business more efficiently, like virtual receptionist, call routing, and video conferencing. And it starts at just $19.95 per month per user, plus taxes and fees. UMA. Nice. Find your business calm at UMA.com slash radio. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. Up to a 30% upfront bonus and 12% per year guaranteed growth for retirement. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and these are the highest guarantees with annuities I have seen in my life. When interest rates are this high, there are silver linings, and annuity guarantees are one of them. Up to a 30% bonus upfront for retirement income. On $100,000, that's up to $42,000 guaranteed in the first year. And it's because of the economy and its high interest rates. Don't let 
anyone, especially another financial advisor, tell you it's not true. Up to 30% upfront just for opening an account and up to 12% per year guaranteed income growth. Don't miss out. This won't last forever. If you have an old 401k, get up to 30% upfront and 12% guaranteed growth for income today. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. KSL News Time 815. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the owner of Utah's new NHL franchise, Ryan Smith, is holding a news conference later tonight where we hope to learn more about our new team. We'll have live coverage for you right here on KSL. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, students in the Salt Lake City School District will be getting presentations in the next few days about the state's new bathroom policy. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Got a crash in Tooele City right now on uh, Lehigh's or uh, Tooele Main Street at Utah Avenue. Northbound lanes blocked and. Sounds like a pretty bad crash down on SR-73 out in the Rush Valley that uh, may be blocking the road. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds are rolling in today. We'll call it mostly cloudy and 64. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a check of our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Apparent retaliation overnight as Israel appears to strike back. Explosions were heard and some drones spotted in the central Iranian city of Isfahan, home to a military base and a nuclear facility, but no direct confirmation on the strikes from the Israeli government. ABC's Tom Rivers is at the foreign desk. The video shows the site where everything appears to be normal. Nothing reportedly hit or damaged. Iran is said to have fired air defense batteries as explosions. Explosions could be heard near a major airbase near Ishvaha. Meanwhile, the UN nuclear watchdog, the IAEA, confirms there is no damage to any of Iran's nuclear sites. In Tel Aviv, here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Overnight flights to Tehran, Isfahan, and Shrian were suspended but have since resumed, and Iranian media soon switching to showing video of business as usual in Isfahan. Syrian state media also reporting that Israel targeted its air defenses in the country's south. G7 foreign ministers meeting in Italy say they support Israel's security and a de-escalation of the conflict. A jury has now been seated in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial. Here's ABC's Aaron Katursky. Seven men and five women have been sworn in to claim their place in American history as jurors in the first criminal trial of a former president. They include an investment banker who follows Trump on social media, a speech therapist who said she does not agree with a lot of his politics, a school teacher who said she admires how President Trump speaks his mind, and a woman in product development who said, I don't like his persona how he presents himself in public. All of them, though, pledged to give Trump a fair shake. Four Democrats on the House Rules Committee say they will support House Speaker Mike Johnson's move to separate the $95 billion aid package for Israel and Ukraine into four separate bills. Tesla's recalling all the 3,800 cyber trucks it shipped so far because of a problem with the accelerator pedal. You're listening to ABC News. Well, we're talking about what a weekend it's going to be down in Pace and probably already is yeah. down there. Dave and Debbie are going to be live from Pace in High School. We got you, Deb. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm hands-free. Yeah, I'm heading to Payson High. Wow, it's it's way up here. I mean, Payson High is quite a drive from Salt Lake City, so I'm curious to know, like, how the producers and the director of Footloose found this place back in the 80s. Uh, you know, they filmed a big part of Footloose uh, at Payson High, and so the students have been begging Kevin Bacon to come back, and he listened. He's coming back for their prom this weekend, so... Dave and I are going to hang out with the students today. They've got a big assembly this morning uh, in our 9 o'clock hour, and then in our 10 o'clock hour, we're going to hit uh, Bacon to Payson really big. Um, we've got a lot of other stuff lined up as well today for the show. The TikTok ban, of course, slated uh, for a congressional vote, vote this weekend. And I also want to mention that Taylor Swift overnight delivered grandparents and parents a really big Easter basket full of gifts this weekend. I'll explain my hot take on that <laughs> while you want to make while you want to make sure you're listening to her album right alongside your uh, teenagers who are in love with her. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Little, little inside. Let's talk about uh, that too. Little inside yep. Swifty news today. 
All right, Deb, look forward to it. Coming up at the top of the hour, Dave and Dujanovic. And a reminder that this portion of Utah's Morning News is brought to you by Revere Health. 819, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back over to you, Andy. Amanda, our uh, crash in Tooele City on northbound SR36 Main Street. It's Main Street down in the middle of the city. It's got the northbound lanes at least partially blocked at Utah Avenue. There's a little bit of a delay behind it. I am looking at some delay down in the Rush Valley on SR-73, about a mile and a half east of the uh, SR-36 turnoff. And this one, uh, they may have had to send a medical helicopter to, so this is going to affect both directions of SR-73 in that portion. But coming in from Tooele County on I-80, sailing along all the way to the airport. Heather? We also still have pretty big delays in Box Elder County. This is southbound I-15 as you go past the Brigham City Airport. It's due to a pretty big crash in that area. We don't have cameras, though. All I can tell you is that it's about a mile to a mile and a half of nearly stopped traffic. So that's going to take you a good extra 15 minutes to get through the stretch of traffic. Once you do though, you've got good speeds the rest of the way into downtown Salt Lake if that's your direction. Eric. I-15 continues to look solid in Utah County. Uh, northbound from Santa Quinn to Point of the Mountain. That's a 30-minute drive. Uh, it's just bunching up a little bit over on Redwood Road northbound, approaching Pioneer Crossing, and you've got your usual slowdowns on SR-73 and Mountain View Corridor and 2100 north. Uh, not as bad as some days, though. It is Friday. We've got a little bit lighter traffic on uh, this day. Crossroads of the West Gun Show returns this weekend to the Mountain America Expo Center. Great deals on guns, ammo, and accessories accessories plus buy sell or trade at the show this is the big one eric butler in the ksl traffic center ksl 7 8 forecast has nothing but 60s and 70s it's smooth sailing folks 64 today the change to the forecast today is we're going to add clouds we'll go mostly cloudy through the afternoon 70 tomorrow partly cloudy sunday looks great 75 partly cloudy skies into monday looks like a dry cool front mostly sunny 69 not bad 76 on Tuesday, partly cloudy. We keep that sunshine with a couple of clouds. On Wednesday, high of 78. 71 mostly cloudy by Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Hazy sunshine downtown right now, 43 degrees, and the seven-day forecast is brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. It's going to be a great weekend for getting out in the garden and the greenhouse show every Saturday morning. You know, if you've never listened, you, should, you ought to because I learn stuff every weekend when I listen to Well, let greenhouse. me tell you, this time of year, I mean, I was host for a lot of years. Yeah. People will not just fill up every line coming into the studio. They'll sit there for more than an hour waiting to get a question answered. Well, because, you know, usually you think uh, getting advice like this, it costs money. Yeah. But we get to speak to the experts, and it's free. Yeah. So look forward to that. Uh, Maria and Ton coming up with you at their usual spot, 8 to 11 o'clock this Saturday. This portion of Utah's Morning News brought to you by Durden's, and uh, that means, of course, that Todd Hall is back in studio with us. Good morning. Well, good morning. It's good to see you, Todd. It, oh, it's great to be here. Let me just tell you, I love the way you think. You, we're already dreaming about Memorial Day, and you're just going to take us there this weekend. Absolutely. You know what? We usually uh, break our Memorial Day sale a little early, but why not just do it in April? Yeah. So we're going to start our Memorial Day sale this weekend. That's wonderful. So you have savings all throughout the store, and I want people to know that, you know, if they, like happened to, to my husband and I, we had a dishwasher go out, and you know, you can't be without a dishwasher very long without it getting uncomfortable, so we just called you on the phone and got one right over the phone. Absolutely. You know, and we see that. We love to be able to show people full live kitchens and try it before you buy it, but you know what? Some people were busy, and things are broken, and you just want to get taken care of. You can call us from your home office. You can call us from work. Uh, we've got a website full of uh, chat uh, responders that can actually, that when you're, you're talking to an uh, actual appliance expert, not a chat bot, mm -hmm. and we can help you find something that's right for your kitchen and right for your budget with same-day, next-day delivery. And you always have the best prices. Absolutely. You know, we hope you like a local family-owned business better, but we're never going to ask you to pay more. Our website automatically is coming home, or really all of the national chains, and we're updating to the most competitive price we see. Now, if somebody is wanting to replace a whole kitchen, maybe they're building or remodeling mm -hmm. or something, you have deals on that as well. We absolutely do. You know, come in and try it in one of our 12 live kitchens, but uh, there's great incentives. Sub-Zero, it's our flagship luxury brand. They're offering up to $2,500 in rebates, cafe and profile up to 2000 monogram up to $4,000 in rebates. And a, this is a great one with uh, Thermidor. 
if you are buying a range, you get a dishwasher for free. What? Oh, wow. That's easy number to remember, zero. Yeah. yeah. By the way, my mother had a dishwasher, and it wasn't a Thermador. It was a Tim uh, <laughs> <laughs> way, way back when. Um, I want to talk more about the improvements you've made within the store. We'll do that next time. But Durden's, of course, is a family-owned Utah store. Tell them where to find you. We're at Fifth South and Bountiful. Brands you know it. Prices you love. Plan your special evening out in one of Salt Lake's most unique dining experiences. Five Alls in Foothill. Five courses, five-star service, and dining. Fivealls.com. Fivealls.com. A partner is someone you can rely on. Someone who has your best interest in mind. A partner is there for you during the good and the bad. They listen, understand, and care. Revere Health is dedicated to providing care for your generation and the next. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner for life. We're watching Utah's Money this morning on KSL News Radio, and it is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Utah's gas prices, I'm sorry to say, are well above average today. We're sitting about 396 a gallon, while the country is at 368. Actually, mine came, ours came down a little bit uh, out there by us. Oh, really? Yeah, a couple of the Chevron, Maverick, all of those were down like five cents from where they were a week ago. I didn't notice. Hope that's a trend. Netflix gained another 9.3 million subscribers to start the year, despite subscribers feeling less than enthusiastic about the password crackdown. Starbucks is going green-er, I should say. <laughs> the company announced that their plastic single-use cups will contain up to 20% less plastic. The coffee company says their plastic cups make up 75% uh, of sales in the U.S., and the new cups are part of their goal to cut waste in half by 2030. We arrived this morning to news that there had been a retaliatory strike against Iran from Israel. Mm -hmm. right. And then I get this headline from Market Watch that says Dow Industrials up by triple digits as overnight Israel Iran anxiety eases. Huh. Yeah, that seems a little counter to what's going on yeah. out there, doesn't it? Uh, but we'll take it. The Dow is up 106 points right now. The S&P is down by about 20. The NASDAQ, the tech stocks, are off a full percentage point. They're down 162. wonder if they know something we don't know. Yeah, maybe. It sounds like good news. I hope it is. Uh, we'll take another look at traffic and weather together just ahead on KSL News Radio. Howdy, folks. It's me again. And surprise, it's tomato frenzy time at J&J &J Garden Center in Layton. Right now, all large size tomato plants are only $2.99 each. That's half price and grown from seed right here at J&J. &J. And while you're here, pick up a bag or two of J&J's private label all-purpose premium topsoil to help strengthen your vegetable garden for only $5.98 a cubic foot bag. So come to the tomato frenzy sale at J&J &J Garden Center in Layton where they have the best products at the best price and the best employees too. Take the Layton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then west two miles. You got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home J&J &J Garden Center My name is Case Lawrence, and I'm running for Congress. The chaos at our southern border is a national emergency. We can fix the border, but not with politicians who are more worried about their own political future than America's future. I'm not a politician. I'm a problem solver. I hope you'll join me. I'm Case Lawrence, and I approve this message. Paid for by Case for Congress. Common Spirit Health has expert orthopedic care that gets you back at it and back to your best. Find skilled orthopedic physicians at Common Spirit locations who specialize in general orthopedics and repair of hips, knees, shoulders, and hands, so you can return to running races or chasing the grandkids. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Orthopedic care with human kindness is here. Visit mountain.commonspirit.org. The movie show is at Mickey Couture in Layton today from 10 to 1. Check out all the new spring styles in time for Mother's Day. Visit MinkyCouture.com. 829 Traffic and Weather Together is brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy? 
Uh, Tim, right now a little bit of delay still in Tooele City as you try to pass a crash at uh, SR 36 Main Street and Utah Avenue. And then the rest of the drive on SR 36 all the way to I-80 is at the speed limit. We've had a good drive on I-15 in Salt Lake County this morning. Still have it right now. Some earlier heavy traffic in South Salt Lake has cleared up. Heather? We have a bit of congestion on some of the city streets in Davis County and Weber County as well, especially in Roy and Ogden, as well as in the Layton area, US-89, going through Farmington and Fruit Heights. But the big issue is Box Elder County. Southbound I-15 remains nearly stopped as you leave Honeyville and head toward the Corinne exit. Eric? Over on the 215 East Belt looks good if you're getting on in Knudsen's Corner, 6200 South, and going past Mount Olympus, North Pounders, uh, won't really run into much slowdowns until you get on the Foothill Drive, then uh, just minor slowdowns at some of the stoplights heading up to the University of Utah. I-15 Utah County, that's cruising along at a pretty decent rate. s s Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Eric Butler, the KSL Traffic Center. It's going to be a beautiful day, a high of 64. Right now it's 43 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 8 30. KSL's top story this hour. The head of Utah's bid for another Winter Olympics says having an NHL team could have a big impact on the return of the Games in 2034. KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our team coverage. It's fantastic. This is a generational opportunity for all of Utah, and I'm very grateful. Utah's Olympic Bid Committee President and CEO Fraser Bullock tells me having an NHL team means the Delta Center will need more hockey-accommodated seats at the very least, and whether or not we get a new arena downtown, he says all those extra seats will net millions more dollars in ticket sales. He also says it increases the likeliness that NHL players will want to take part in the games. And while a new downtown arena is still up in the air right now, the Delta Center, the Maverick Center, and Peaks Ice Arena are all slated to host events again in 2020. 34. Adam Small, KSL News Radio. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman was interviewed last night on the NHL Network, and he had a lot to say about hockey in Utah. You mentioned the fact there'll be hockey at the Delta Center, 12,000 unobstructed seats, and, and perhaps plans to go further from that. Well, actually, there are plans which I've seen, and it'll take two summers to do it after this summer, but the unobstructed uh, capacity will be 17,000 when they're done, and while it's 12,000 unobstructed now, uh, there's still another 4,000 for the temporary part of this uh, obstructed seats. Well, it's clearly been part of your legacy to have hockey in non-traditional markets. How nice is it going to be for hockey fans to see hockey in Utah? Well, I think it's going to be great. It's a great winter sports area, so we're looking forward to going to Utah. Great for sports, great for winter sports, and we think NHL hockey will thrive there. The commissioner went on to say that they had to move the team out of Arizona because the college arena they were playing at was not suitable for the NHL. But he does hope that Arizona will build a new stadium down the road so hockey can return there. We should learn a lot more about Utah's new NHL team this evening when Ryan Smith holds a news conference at 5. Be sure to tune into Jeff Kaplan's afternoon news for coverage. KSL's top national stories this hour. Israel launched a missile attack at a military base in Iran overnight in response to Iran's attack earlier this week. This morning, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was asked about the escalation. We cannot support a major military operation in Rafah. First, there are currently somewhere around 1.4 million people in Rafah, many of them displaced from other parts of Gaza. Blinken says they have announced additional sanctions on Iran. KSL Weather Now with Matt Johnson. So far, we haven't had any April showers. We've picked up about a third of an inch in Salt Lake City when we averaged 2.16 inches for the entire month, so running way behind normal in one of our wettest months of the year. Bountiful Bench, 1.45, so a little bit more in the rain gauge, but you do expect more up there. 3.74 is the average on the month. Despite a relatively uh, dry April, the Jordan River is running higher than normal, and it just might stay that way for a while. This probably doesn't come as a surprise, given our snowpack is at 130% of normal capacity. But Salt Lake County officials tell the Salt Lake Tribune they're expecting flood risk will stay relatively low. Still, the river will be flowing high, fast, and cold as water is released from Utah Lake. Officials are warning people to be careful if they're traveling anywhere near these waterways. Michael Kimmett, 
KSL News Radio. First look traffic now, and here is Andy Farnsworth. Well, they finally cleared the crash on Main Street in uh, Tooele at Utah Avenue, but we've still got a portion of SR 73 near after uh, where it splits off from SR 36 to head towards Eagle Mountain. Uh, you've got a, a fatal crash there that's blocking both directions of that road. I 15, though, looking just fine from uh, Ogden to Salt Lake to Provo. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Two of Utah's congressmen are pushing a bill that they hope will block undocumented immigrants from boarding planes. We get the story from KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Utah Congressman Burgess Owens has added his name to a bill that aims to block immigrants from using immigration documents as ID at the airport. Senator Mike Lee took the issue to the Senate floor a month ago. If you're an illegal immigrant under the Biden administration, all you have to do is pull out the CBP-1 app. It's an app that they created. It doesn't prove who they are. It just says you can board the airplane. Washington Senator Patty Murray argued the app actually protects the United States. Using this app improves security because it provides CPP with advanced notice of who's arriving and those individuals have already passed security checks. Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. New parents often feel overwhelmed at the stress of raising a new baby. Dr. Tegri Hui with the Intermountain Center for Safe and Healthy Families says new parents need go-to support people. You're reacting to that frustration because we never planned for it. It, it was always something that is not going to happen to me. And so often um, we're hit with a different reality. She says new parents need to remember crying is the only way for babies to express themselves. Now I gotta cut loose. Kevin Bacon returning to Payson High School this weekend to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the movie Footloose. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is already there and checks in with us live from Payson. Eric? Tim, to answer Amanda's question uh, after we spoke last time as far as media presence, so far, believe it or not, it's just us. So really, we are your exclusive access in right now. Shout out to the faculty here also at Pace and High for being such great hosts of us. I'm standing right where David Dujanovic will be broadcasting from, and behind us is a wall dedicated to all of the Pace and High students' artwork, which reminded me of how Pace and Theater uh, here in town is showing special screenings of Footloose for $1 with proceeds going to Kevin Bacon's nonprofit Six Degrees and their efforts. The local Chubbies in town is also matching those donations, and donations can still be made for this weekend's efforts with the Utah Film Commission offering a chance to win a meet and greet with Mr. Bacon himself. For those who donate $25 or more, you can enter at sixdegrees.org to make that donation. Reporting live from Payson High School, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. That is so cool. Yeah, and uh, that's great that Chubbies is stepping up to match donations. I wonder if they have a bacon, lettuce, oh. and tomato sandwich <laughs> at Chubby's. That's great. Well, the city streets are getting busier, but the freeways are still rolling along without delays along the Wasatch Front. We'll check it next. Reliability, steadiness, trusted voices. I'll listen to KSL in the morning. I use it to find my weather, to find my traffic. When you ask me what news is, I think of KSL first. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off! Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. And Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. The season of adventure is finally here, and it's time to take your adventures to a new level in an RV from a Motorsportsland RV Center. Enjoy the breathtaking destinations right here in Utah without leaving the comforts of your new home on wheels. Hurry in now and check out our limited supply of 2023 model closeouts at huge discounts. Save almost $15,000 off MSRP on our 2023 Prowler 265BHX for only $24,995 with zero down payment options under $300 a month OAC or $10,000 off our 2023 ROG 10MC Toy Hauler for only $16,995 with zero down payment options under $200 a month OAC. At Motorsportsland RV Centers, we offer real prices without hidden fees for freight, prep, orientation, or even propane. See details and more amazing deals on premium RV models at motorsportsland.com. Let Motorsportsland help you get away. Motorsportsland.com. We will continue to follow uh, the happenings at Payson High School this morning. Coming up in about 20 minutes, we'll uh, turn it over live to David Dujanovic, live from Payson High. 
839, traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. And right now, travel through the Salt Lake Valley on the freeways is fine. I-15 and I-215 and the 21st South Freeway are all delay-free. Bangor hasn't been as bad as a typical weekday, but there might be a little bit of waiting right now in South Jordan. I do see some uh, backing along 114th South, especially near 1300 West in the eastbound direction. Heather? Looks like the crash on southbound I-15 in Box Elder County has cleared. You now have freeway speeds as you move from Honeyville toward Brigham City. Once you get past all that area, traffic is pretty heavy, especially between Clearfield and Farmington, but no slowdowns yet on the freeway, at least heading south. You do have some delays, though, northbound between Woods Cross and Bountiful. Eric? Got some stoplight slowdowns over on University Avenue in Provo from 300 south, heading up towards 800 north. A little bit in some other parts of the county as well. SR 73 a bit slow now for westbounders uh, heading away, heading through uh, Eagle Mountain uh, this morning, and but you've got your normal slowdowns. Mountain View Corridor 2100 North heading over to I-15. Get your lawn off to a good start with Revive Organic Soil Treatment. Greener grass using less water. Spread or spray Revive Organic Soil Treatment available at your favorite garden center or revive.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. A bit of a change to the forecast today. We're going for mostly cloudy skies. Highs right around 64. Overnight, 43, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, 70, partly cloudy skies. A combination of sun and clouds on Sunday, a perfect 75 degrees. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 45 degrees in Salt Lake City. We're going to talk about the Salt Lake City Marathon. There are going to be some road closures that might affect you. And we'll speak with a representative from the Salt Lake City Police Department just ahead. Stay with us, streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio. Utah's News Traffic and Weather Station. This hour of Utah's Morning News brought to you by Durden's. Todd Hall is back in studio with us. I know Amanda has seen you since we popped in the last time to the store to see the new developments, but I haven't. We were blown away by what you've done. Well, we've just, you know, we want to always be upgrading the kitchens to make sure that the live kitchens represent the most current design trends, the most current technology. And we we're really proud of this refresh that we've done. If you're redoing your kitchen, I, I suggest you go to Durden's and look before you make choices because I saw, well, I saw not just designs, but actual appliances I'd never seen before. It's fun. There's a lot of things that can solve problems that you didn't even think were out there and that you had to live with something, an obstacle that there's a lot of solutions for. Yeah. Yeah. We were treated to another great breakfast out there. And I was <laughs> saying, boy, I wish our listeners could have that experience. They actually can. Absolutely. We've got 12 live kitchens. You can cook your favorite meal in them if you want to. You can see how they're going to fire up. You don't need to guess how it's going to look or work in your own home by looking at it on a concrete warehouse floor. You can see it in a real kitchen, experience it, and know that you're paying the lowest price in town. Now, that's the thing. I mean, these kitchens are magnificent, and you have something for every budget, but you're never going to pay a higher price. Absolutely. We take being price competitive really seriously. Every morning, our website combs through all the national chains and updates our prices with the lowest price on every model it sees. So if you want to know you're getting the best value and you only want to need to go to one place, We've made it so that it's very easy and you know you're getting the best price. Well, I don't know who's going to beat these prices for your Memorial Day sale, which you're kicking off this weekend. Absolutely. We're kicking off the Memorial Day sale now. And so if, whether you're trying to upgrade your whole kitchen or if you've just got a piece that's seen its better days and you want to upgrade your kitchen one piece at a time, um, you can come and see us and try it out. But also chat with us on our website, give us a call. We'll be glad to get something that's right for your budget and your kitchen. And that's Durden's Appliance, <clears throat> sorry, Durden'sAppliance.com. Durden'sAppliance.com, and we're at 5th South and Bountiful. Brands you know it, prices you love. Want to pay less to vacation more? General RV makes that possible and even more affordable during the model year closeout. April 17th through the 20th, four days of savings and free family activities. With the best deals on travel trailers, motorhomes, fifth wheels, and more. Guaranteed. Get to the model year closeout where you can pay less to vacation more. Just how you want it. Only at General RV. In Draper off I-15. Hello. I'm Case Lawrence, and I'm running for Congress. Our skyrocketing national debt is the greatest risk to the American dream. We can fix America's debt crisis, but not with politicians who are more worried about their next election than America's next generation. 
I'm not a politician. I'm a problem solver. I hope you'll join me. I'm Case Lawrence, and I approve this message. Paid for by Case for Congress. KSL News Time, 845. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the leader behind Utah's bid for the 2034 Winter Olympics says having an NHL team could net Utah millions more dollars when the games likely return in a decade. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, the Jordan River is already running higher than normal, and that might last into the summer. Third, let's check the drive with traffic and weather together. Yeah, we still have a crash. This is affecting drivers on I-15 in Bountiful right now. On the northbound side, trying to go up from the Woods Cross exit up towards 500 south because of a crash that's over to the right, forcing all traffic to the left. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Clouds today with highs in the 60s, then 70s for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. With a check of our top national story. This is a special report from ABC News. Israel retaliates. I'm Sherry Preston. Israel striking back against Iran. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News that Israel launched retaliatory strikes inside Iran overnight, nearly a week after Iran launched more than 300 missiles and drones against Israel. Iran said it considered the matter settled, but warned that it won't hesitate to respond further if there is another offensive. In Tel Aviv, here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Iran very quickly went from there was some sort of explosion in and around Isfahan to say, hey, everything's okay, there were no casualties, there's no damage, it's business as usual. They're not even accusing Israel of this attack. They're saying it was from some inside infiltrators in Iran. Israel has said absolutely nothing, and I was texting with the Israeli military at 4 a.m. local. Everybody was awake. Nobody was writing us back. Isfahan, a central Iranian city home to a military base and a nuclear facility, no reported damage. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. The Salt Lake City Marathon is this weekend, and that means there's going to be some major road closures to be aware of. Salt Lake City Police Officer Yair Javade with the Salt Lake City Police Department joins us live. Officer, what should we know about uh, what's going to be closed off this weekend? Hey, first of all, thank, thanks for having me here. Um, I just want to say we're excited to help out with the marathon again this year. Uh, we recognize that this event may have big travel impact on people living, working, or visiting Salt Lake City. Um, but we just want to remind our community members that our main priority is the safety or, of our community members. Uh, we're asking our community members to take some time and look at the maps of the race course and plan their days accordingly. Will the entire race route be blocked off uh, at one time, or is it kind of a moving target? So the race routes, um, parts of a Parts of the intersections will be blocked off, but there will be some parts that officers will let traffic through at point when when it's safe for the drive or when it's safe for them to move. It's it's been so many years since my son ran this. I can't remember where does it start. It it starts up on the high east side. How many officers are actually going to be participating in uh, this enforcement tomorrow? I don't have the exact numbers, but they, we, our main priority is making sure that our community members are safe and there will be plenty of officers to ensure um, the route is safe for everyone. Do you know, officer, where I can go to get the, the route so I can see exactly where it's going to go? Yeah, we would like to refer the community members and everyone to go to Salt Lake City Marathon's website to get the latest map and timeline. Yeah, and I'm there now. Uh, we appreciate your time this morning. It is uh, saltlakecitymarathon.com, and I'm I'm just looking. Uh, there is a link there to uh, race info. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, too. Parking and directions. Uh, street closures. Let's see if that tells us when, where, and how to uh, navigate through it. It's uh, fairly intuitive if you want to go to that website and, and look through it and you think that it might, you know, impede whatever you have going this weekend. The other thing to remember is it's not just the marathon. I think simultaneously, isn't there a half marathon that takes yes. place and a 10K yes. and a 5K? Mm -hmm. So uh, there's always huge numbers of those that participate. But, uh, oh, there it is. There's a map all the way at the bottom. If you uh, click on... Uh, street closures, and then just uh, go all the way to the bottom. And there's actually specific times on when they will be blocking certain roads off, oh, which that's is helpful. which is very handy. So uh, if you're thinking about being in the area of the marathon, it's kind of fun to watch 
if you can do it from a lawn chair in your front yard. <laughs> Way back when, I remember, I think I think my son just ran the half marathon, and it started up by the U, and it went all over the place, and then it ended at the gateway. Yeah. And that was just a thrill to, Here, to be there when he crossed the finish line. Yeah, years ago, we broadcast from the finish line, and you remember Don Schaefer. Oh, sure. Uh, Don actually ran it. Oh, my gosh. And I was there at the finish line when he came across. He wasn't exactly running when he got there, <laughs> many or not. But why does it ghost? My goodness, I asked him, you ever going to do this again? It was kind of like asking, you know, someone who just gave birth to a baby, you going to have another child? <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, it's not a good time. No. <laughs> not a good time to ask. But, man, no, no. Uh, it is uh, it is an effort. But there's going to be a lot of people out there participating. So, again, it's saltlakecitymarathon.com. And that's the in-depth of 15 and 45. All right, let's get a look at the roads now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy? Got some sudden delays on the 21st South Freeway, Tim, and it's uh, eastbound. Right now, it looks like right as you go past 215 and head towards Redwood and over towards 900 West, we might have a crash. We've had more than one crash in that stretch this week. And, in fact, traffic is uh, basically at a stop, and it looks like it's the left lanes that are blocked just before 900 West, backing you to 215. Heather? We've got a crash northbound I-15 just before you get to 500 south exit in Bountiful. The right lane and shoulder are blocked, and one of the vehicles looks like it went off-roading way off to the right into the field. That has traffic backed up to 2600 south in Woods Cross. It's going to take you about five extra minutes to get through that stretch in Davis County. Most of the traffic, though, it's heading southbound, and you've got good speeds right now from Ogden to Salt Lake. Eric. Northbound, I-15 in Utah County. No problems there as you head from Springville to Point of the Mountain. That's a 22-minute drive. Heading into the mountains, uh, 189 through Provo Canyon looks good. So does I-80 through Parley's Canyon if you're going out to the Wasatch Back. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Court Stone Sale, starting at just $39 a foot. Visit BedrockCourts.com. That's BedrockCourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast looks like an absolute dream, folks. 64 today, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 70. Sunday, 75, partly cloudy skies. Monday, a little bit cooler thanks to a dry, cool front brushing on through. High of 69 there, mostly sunny. Tuesday, 76, partly cloudy. We're back up to 78. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday. How about Thursday? 71 and mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. We are at 45 degrees right now in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Matt was telling us we have a, a relatively dry April going on here. We're way behind as, as the totals go, but we have lots of snowpack. And I just noticed that Adam Small posted uh, at uh, kslnewsradio.com this story. says, not even two years after hitting all-time record lows, the Great Salt Lake has a chance of reaching its healthy range by the end of spring runoff. It has not reached that level since 2013. Oh, wow. That would be wonderful. Two years after record lows. Yeah, it seems like a distant memory to how panicked we were. Many would say prayers answered. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that. If you want to look it up, just go to kslnewsradio.com. Boy, we've got uh, complete stoppage on the road there. We'll see what's going on with traffic as well. Stay with us. One of my wife's and I's favorite places to shop is NPS. They have four locations, one in Layton, two in Salt Lake, and one down in Orem. So anybody really along the main center of the Wasatch Front has a chance to check out this amazing place that we like to call, Steve, a nice place to save. Yeah, and its, it's principles are set up to where they get containers full of brand new merchandise. They market at 30 to 70 percent off. And it's kind of fun to just go and discover what they have. When we say brand new merchandise, it could be any kind of merchandise, Steve. They'll have brand new name brand mattresses that sometimes yeah. are 50% off what you'd pay at retail price. I found sports equipment on the industrial side. They've got home repair stuff on the industrial side. It's not set up like a home improvement store. Right. But as you go through, you find stuff. I found a refrigerator water filter that I paid double for through the distributor, which is how I had to do it up until that day. I found a sleeve for my truck, 15 bucks. The good news is you can save 30 to 70% off plus additional savings at NPS. Encounter an out-of-this-world lunar landscape at Craters of the Moon and its 100th anniversary starting in May. Learn more at visitidaho.org. Ah, the life of a small business owner. Keeping the lights on, calling all the shots, and then there's workplace accidents. 500-degree ovens, rusty nails. Danger lurks around every corner. Workplace accidents can happen, but there is an easy way to keep your employees covered. 
Talk to your agent about workers' comp coverage from Pi or go to piinsurance.com and get a quote. Safety first, then Pi Insurance. Individual rates, offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to policy terms and conditions. Not available in all states and situations. When you want a brand new kitchen, there's nothing to it. There's a brand new way to do it. Three Day Kitchen and Bath. Rochelle talks about her experience with Three Day Kitchen and Bath. It was a wonderful experience. I had heard about them on the radio. They come out to your house. They let you know what they do. Uh, They let you pick out your features, your colors, and then they come into your home. The morning they start, they walk you through, this is what's going to happen, and you leave for a few days, and you come home, and it's done. Was it easy? It made it easy because you're not in the middle of a mess for two or three months. Left on a Tuesday morning, and it was done on a Thursday night. We came home Friday morning early because we were so excited. What was your reaction when you first saw it? Wow. Wow. It's about time. Three days or less. At Three Day Kitchen and Bath. We've got a traffic situation. Is that emergency traffic, Andy? Uh, Pretty close, yeah. we got a crash on 201 near 900 West. It's got you backed out past 215. And we've got one on North 15 just before 500 South Bountiful that's backing you to the Woods Cross exit. So two really slow spots on a morning that other other than this was moving pretty well. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Just uh, time to look at numbers so we can talk with Todd here. The Dow is actually up about 200 points, but it's the only one in the green. The S&P is down slightly. It's off seven. The Nasdaq down 113. Coming up, we'll get another look at traffic, including those two uh, problem areas. That's just ahead. This hour of Utah's morning news brought to you by Durden's Todd Hallback with us uh, one more time. Can we talk about the website for just a minute here? Uh, we would always say that you need to go into Durden's just to see, the, you know, the display and all the great appliances you have. But, man, you can start that shopping process at home. Absolutely. You know, some people like to qualify themselves and just get a little bit informed before they come in and visit. But often, you know, if you've got an appliance that's just seen its better days and you want the convenience of just being able to take care of it, you can get on our website, make some great decisions. You'll see what we've got in stock, what's available for next day or same-day delivery. More importantly, when you're using our chat feature, you're talking to an appliance expert. So we're going to get you it with something that's going to meet your needs and your budget. I mean, before we replaced our whole kitchen with you guys, we did. Our, we had a, a, dish, a dishwasher break down, and you got us a new dishwasher the next day over the phone. Absolutely. We think that convenience is an essential part of giving a great experience. So... We offer same-day, next-day delivery for anything we have in stock, and we we do have a very deep stock as well. Here's the other thing. We talk about all the luxury line stuff, you know, Sub-Zero and some of those, but you have entry-level uh, appliances in, you know, you, if you're not looking for an entire kitchen, you just need a stove, then go look at the, the great entry-level stuff. Absolutely. We carry it. Um, every price point all the way through uh, from very entry level through the very best. And we can show you what you're going to get more for your money or what features you might be giving up. But it, we've always got something that'll fit your needs. You've got some great rebates going on I want people to know about. Oh, absolutely. If you are considering a full kitchen upgrade, there, it's a great time because in addition to paying our Memorial Day sale prices, you're going to get some great package incentives. Um G Profile and Cafe are offering up to two thousand dollars of rebates. Um, Monogram up to four thousand. Sub Zero, which is our flagship luxury brand, they're offering up to twenty five hundred dollars in rebates. You're always going to get the best price, and you're going to get the best uh, people too to help you. They know appliances. Shop local, a family-owned Utah store. It's Dirt.